Hello, hello out there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm Andrew Jackson, uh, your host with the least. I'm here joined with Jenny Shen, uh, two down professional from the China Chiyuan. Jenny, thank you so much for being with us. Really great to have you here. Uh, oh, you got really faint there all of a sudden. Let's see, mm -hmm. is it working? Is it working? It's working. All right, we're still here. All right, uh, we've got two games from the M the third M Lily Cup happening live right now. Uh, we have the AGA's very own Ryan Lee taking on Chen Yao Ye, Nine Don Pro, uh, previous world champion holder. Uh, and on the other side of the title card, we've got uh, Deep Zen Go, the AI out of Japan, who um, has been pursuing its own course of uh, development after the AlphaGo phenomenon. Jenny, do you want to talk a little bit about Zen? Uh, it, it sounded like you wanted to review the Zen game first, and then maybe we'll go back and see how Ryan's doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's look at Zen first. All right. Take it away. Zen game is more exciting. All right. So you've got control. You've got the camera. What would you like to talk okay, about? Okay. So um, yesterday, oh, no, the, the first round, uh, Zen, Zen was very cool. I think the game was very, Zen played very well, and he just, uh, then just, um, I think I think so. we didn't see the opponent get any chance. It's a solid win. Hmm, hmm. So with the, this game, um, okay, let's let's look at the game from the from the beginning. Uh, you know this this sunset opening started to get popular. I think it's after after last month, right? The AlphaGo match. Right, the AlphaGo matches have certainly popularized a lot of. Uh new new ideas well before that i saw Cody and some other chinese pros played that but it's after i think it's after the i think it's after um the 60 games so they started to try this mm. and then the the sense innovation became extremely popular right we saw we saw that a lot in in AlphaGo sl play games so so that this one I think it's funny because when you look at this move, if white tinuki, <laughs> what do you think? If white tinuki, it's like sense innovation, right? So actually, um, I didn't see, I didn't see AlphaGo soft game. There was set, uh, there was this uh, shoulder. Uh, AlphaGo didn't play sense, and this shoulder shoulder head didn't happen. Hmm. So we don't know what AlphaGo will will respond to this move. Uh, so in the game, uh, then play this shoulder head, and and white white crawled and then then tanuki huh. <laughs> so this this is very i think it's a, it's interesting because before when we look at this it's like what it yeah it's kind of Here, right? it's kind of unthinkable right yeah right so but i think that the human orthodox is leading us to a narrow way hmm. so we say okay this must be this must be extended this must be jump you cannot tanuki here what whatever right but now I think the AI is telling us you guys don't have to think like this. There are other ways to be think. Okay. Well, it's interesting so, also because Zen is very different than AlphaGo in terms of its development. Uh, Zen has, has sort of been doing its own thing prior to the release of the AlphaGo paper. And I think that they um, commented that they're going to continue to do development rather than just try to improve on what the AlphaGo method was. So it's interesting that they're sort of converging on similar maybe I can't call them similar, but they're equally different uh, approaches to the opening uh, compared to human play, right? Yeah, but I think that if you, um, Zen opening is, is, prep, is still very much like human, hmm. not like AlphaGo. AlphaGo is, is completely non-human. It's, a, it's a different, it's from a different planet. <laughs> all right, all right. Whereas well, this is this still is potentially still human. humanoid? I think so far it's still human. And I didn't see very, um, very non-human moves in Zen's games. So it's much easier to understand than AlphaGo. Um, so then Tinuki, I, I, I was thinking, how do we understand this? So you just think like this. You think that if Black approaches here, is White going to play here? Mm, probably not. Um, probably yes, probably no, right? But this is definitely OK if Black, if black plays elsewhere. Right. But the only thing is that this exchange is bad for Black. We mm. have to see that. But how bad is it? It's not so bad. Then if, if we think that maybe this move is a little slow, then this is not so bad. Then we then it's if it breaks even, 
huh. then it's okay. So, it's, so I, yeah, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. It just just think in a different way. Then it's totally fine. Everything's fine. Hmm. And I think uh, other moves in this game, which is also interesting. So then played this one and then Tanuki, and after that, uh, Black played this. I was thinking, don't play Taisha. Don't play Taisha. <laughs> Well, the, the pros also don't like Taisha. They also don't like complicated Joseki. So in this game, uh, there's more reason to play this move than Taisha because white already has uh, has the stones here. So it's okay to let black build a wall. This is our human thinking. Right. right. I mean, I think that makes sense. But I, yeah. it seems also like we're very able to come up with stories to tell us for why any move is good. So... But then I think Zen doesn't think like that. Mm, okay. From the follow-ups, then played. So after that, this this is a this is a common joseki, human joseki. Right. And and then we, we we human would think, okay, what's the next move? Of course, yeah, you, you build the wall, and this side is open, so black should play something like that to extend. Right. You have to. Right. right? So. So. This is something like you, you, you should play here. If you don't play here, the others are not as good. So you should play here. This is what we think. But then, then thinks differently. Then thinks this is bigger. Huh. So another thing we learn from the AIs is that, okay, this, this is what we human think. You should play here. But we don't have to think like this. We can also play here. So I think that the thinking, that, that everything, it becomes much bigger than we, we, the picture is much bigger that we can think in different ways. We have even more options. Thing, think it makes sense. So you have a wall you don't have to extend. But human, human thinking that if you don't play here, then I need to play here, right? So this is, this is the white move, right. which is reasonable. Right. Well, so white... we're saying that, you know, these moves are all reasonable. Doesn't that depend on Zen winning the game? I mean, if Zen doesn't win, maybe maybe we find out that these moves are maybe not so good yet, right? Um, that's that's Zen could make mistakes later. It mm. doesn't mean these moves are not good, right? Sure, that's we a good don't... point. That's a good point. It's hard for us to say, and it definitely means that it's an option. It has widened our our imaginations. Yes. So I think that so far, I I would not say which side is happier or what. It, it's pretty reasonable for both sides. I okay. Think. And this next move is very good. Well, at least it will, will, now when we see something new, we see, we see something we human would not think about. Then we think, okay, this is interesting. <laughs> this must be good. This is in, this is at least very interesting, right? Right. Um, so, so I think that Zen Zen is um, probably Zen likes like center. If you look at a lot of Zen's games. It, it likes to play on the outside. Sure, sure. It's not quite like Afugo. Afugo plays all kinds of moves. It doesn't, Afugo doesn't have a real style and say, I like cash, I like terry, I, I like the influence, I like outside. Nothing like that. But then it seems like to play on the outside more than. Definitely. The, the, Definitely. Yeah. And, and we've seen a lot more of Zen's games because it has been on KGS for so many months, right? We've seen it develop. We've seen it sort of like grow and change and get stronger and stronger over the last couple of years, right? Um, when yes. it was only like five down to now it's nine down. Now it, it's top professional level. Definitely. At least it, at least it, it's, it could be stronger there. Could <laughs> be stronger. Course. That's right. Mm. So this move, like when I first see this move, my first feeling is I'm not going to play here, but actually why play here? Hmm. Because, because my, my feeling is that this is solid area. This, this area is solid because black did this BC exchange. That makes white solid. It's more solid that without that exchange. Then, then I would think, okay, you want outside? Then I, I, I come out. This is what I think. I, I think if I play white, I would play this move. If black jumps out, maybe think about making this side heavy, hmm. something like that. Hmm. But, but in the game, I think this move is pretty passive. I don't like this move <laughs> because in the future, for example, this kind of honey. And this this kind of attach white is very low. Sure. But maybe maybe this is white strategy. Why did white wants to take cash? Because they, they have some like the pros they have been playing fine art a lot. They have some strategies like jumping to the morning at this. <laughs> so real game then played here. Right. Which is which makes sense. Like you said, it puts them pushes them low. 
Yes. So white honey that come double honey. This is this this is a very good pace, I think. So 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 we think that that like this kind of moves. Um, if if I look at this board, I would say black play very pretty. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So if white comes out from here, you see that this one, right? If white pushes out, this is your the first thing we can we can see, and first thing we will think about. Right. I think black can first honey and ask you, are you going to connect here? Then black can come here and get the outside. Sure. And that looks like a very strong shape for black towards the upper right center of the board. Yes. So if white turns. Black can carry here. So now, now white cannot run because this ladder works for black. Mm. So white, white has to give up that stone. So I guess this is black's plan. So this way, because black, black can get this honey first. If you play here first, then it's different, right? Without that exchange, it's different. Right. But this exchange definitely uh, black gains on the outside. So black is happy with, for example, if we look at it like this. Mm. Because if you don't do this exchange in the future, you do this, white will not play this turn. Right. So this way, I think black is happy with his plan. Like he, he, this is his plan outside. So white played this double honey. This is a very strong move. So white is claiming a fight. And so I'm going from that side. I'm going to going out from this side. Right, right. So maybe, so if, if you said that that first knight's move was maybe a little passive, is it possible that like, because it seems like in these games, the window that you have against an AI is incredibly small. Like, and che keeping the game balanced is always very difficult because even just a little bit of a slack move can be it. And they don't seem to do a very good job of letting you back in. Yes, so yes. it seems like if just that knight's move was too slack, maybe he's already thinking he needs to come back and like start fighting strongly. He must fight strongly. Hmm. He, he cannot play anything passive. For example, if he plays something like this, he, he, black either goes here or just come here. Because this way, if black, white attires, black can just cover. Lock, right? lock, lock out white on the inside. Also, white, white stone, you can see it's very inefficient. It's all on the inside. Right. And with a little bit of territory. So so black white has to fight here. I think I think this move is very it's a very strong move. So black th this area, we see that white played this tiger's mouth. So the first feeling is connect. I look at this variation. I think my variation, I don't know what then is thinking. My variation is if white black plays this sequence first and then honey. And now it's hard for white to get out. First of all, you cannot play here. Hmm. You can see white is short of liberties, right? Right. And if white jumps here, because because this Atari is centered, so white black can play this wedge. And again, we have the shortage problem, right? Right. So now white has to connect. Then um, black can connect out. Something like because this is centered, this pushes centered. So, mm -hmm. so for example, something even honey or jump, as long as you can, you can, um, you can close this area. I right. mean, for black, black is okay with it. This with this result, I think that that's a plan. Also, this this place, black can just honey and live in your corner. So it's not a very, it, it's so not. So it's hard to attack that group to on the top. Mm -hmm. Right. So in the game, he played this tiger's mouth. This is a game. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, this is only a move right. because still white, black, the black's plan continue to, is to block close the this area. Right. And then the, this, this, and then after this, it became a very interesting fight. So I'm wondering my earlier variation, maybe, maybe then would we'll do something first before, for example, like this. Maybe maybe Dan has some even stronger move. I'm not sure. Like at this point, maybe something like this. If you play here, he comes here. This is possible, right? So so this is this is probably even. I think it's harder for White to to get out. That's why White picked, chose chose that Tiger's Mouse. Right. This is the shortage of liberties. So so White comes here, Black Honey. And then I, I, we were thinking that, okay, black connects, white turns, 
then black make a jump or something. And then it's not thinking like that. That's then what we were thinking. First. So actually, this is very, it's very good that the AI can have this, do these details very well. Mm. So this catch move first is also very good sequence. Right, right. It wants to get these forcing moves before it goes back to connect. Because if it doesn't have to connect, if it's alive, right? Right. So it gives black eyes in the future because this Atari is sente. Right. And in the future, when black needs to live, for example, if at least you see there's a code, right? Sure. If black needs to live, or this move gives black eyes. So this is a very good sequence right now. Now, um, black doesn't play that Atari immediately, though. No, save it. Why? So okay. So you got to save it, but but for how long can you save it until it becomes too late? You you play it when you need to play it. Right now you save it. Uh, that Atari could be bad for like reducing your liberties. I don't know. Maybe AI would do it. <laughs> or maybe in the future you don't want Atari. You have other moves. Sure. So so in the game, um, and after that, Black played this one and then played this one. So it's like you're forcing white to to counter attack. But before we start this, uh, I just saw this area. I was like, what is black doing here? So it's like, it, it's like, it's like it, it doesn't look like a, a black can win. But actually, if you look at, if you really look at, read it, it's not like what we think. For example, if white tar is here directly, uh -huh. right? Black, black takes right comes here. Um, now you can Atari, or maybe you don't need to. Um, yeah, so actually this Atari is tricky. <laughs> this Atari should be still centered, and then play here. So after that, I think white cannot try to kill black, because if you try to kill black, something like this, even if white can, uh, white can win this capture race, black gets so sick on the outside. It yeah, won't black's going to get all the forcing moves. This is like a, a very calculated sacrifice here. Yeah. So, for example, if you play here, right? I guess it's throwing and connect. Can white save the outside five stones? If, if white cannot even save that. Or even if white can, so this actually just this result, I think it's already good for black. Wow. Because white killed a little bit. You just see just five stones. Yeah, yeah, and but, that's enough. But on this side, this honey is already a very big move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He might have an even better sequence to reduce the liberties, but even this is very good already. Huh. So even though it looks like maybe black was in trouble by getting those three stones cut off, it's actually really hard for white to get enough on this left side to make it worth all of the forcing moves. Yeah, because this, this, this you, you reduce the liberty and kill the five stones is too small. Right. You can't, you can't just kill that Definitely. and let black enclose the outside. So, so this one, this, this one, at first I was like, what, what is Zen doing? But then I realized, oh, he's trying to sacrifice these stones and trying to get outside. So, so they have, the AIs have a have very good plan, you can see. Um, so this, this could be a better move that my, that just, if you just Atari, because the, if you just Atari, you still need a move to kill black. Right, it changes the, the Liberty race substantially. Right, right. So, so this move after that, white, black still would play like this. Hmm. Right. Then white doesn't have to spend another move to kill the black group. But I, I think this is still going to be a capture race and black will sacrifice those stones and get outside. Okay. And so, so this, this is, is similar to what happened. happened in the game. Yeah. It's very similar to the variation we just showed. <laughs> so we can see that in the future, what is the status? What is the status? Um, if black continues to reduce, can, can black kill the... White has a that, lot of liberties though, right? So Not black really. can't snip the tail even yet. He can't. All right. Is there better ways? Um, in the game, actually, black tenuki, so... So we see that um, in the game, black played here first, which is very, very good sequence because right now if white comes out, mm -hmm. black, he has to worry about something like this. 
or it or just just come down first. Black doesn't have to do anything there. Hmm. Right. This side. Right. That attachment so, isn't really sente because the the group on the upper side has really very few liberties. Yeah, and actually, if there's if, if there's something white can black can do already. For example, if if white can if white comes here, can black play something like this? Well, this oh. this will make be black eyes. Black can live, you can see. Right, yeah, that's alive. The white can't resist that strongly. He has to submit and take the stones above, right? Right. Right. So actually white white cannot answer here because if white answers here. It's too painful to get this oh. incentive. And then black goes back to the other side to reduce the liberties. Right? Oh. I think another way for black is this is sente. And then black can target from here and then play here. This way, um, black doesn't have to go from the outside. Black has this honey, which is a very big move to live in the corner with lots of points. Right, right. And so is that why white just sort of ignores this to? Like white decides he doesn't have a good answer. You mean on the lower, lower on the lower, line? yeah, against the the clamp. I think white white re, right white doesn't have a good answer because this result is is too good for black, and these pros cannot deal with this. This this is too much. I I, I don't know if AI would just suffer it, but pros will not. A human will not. But I think this result is definitely good for black. Because right. white is white is too low, and everything on third line, and black has a huge a model, huge right? potential. And white doesn't have a lot of cash. I mean, it's about what 25, 30 points on the left, mm -hmm. and it's maybe it's not so much. Yeah, it's not so much, points. right? Right. Hmm. So, so in a game, we we only have a few moves left here. Um, right. And then white played here. So you see, it's funny. You see, you ask when should you the target. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I had a feeling that question was going to be important, right? Why, why is this important? Oh, this is eyes. So so black can still connect, and white cannot cut. White cannot cut here. There's a target. Whoops! Surprise! But, but I think that this move is the eye eyes takes the eyes, and then black just ignored. <laughs> Right, because that Atari, like you say, that seals off the lower side is so big for Black. And this seems like Black is very happy to ignore that and get this side. Seems that Am way. I, I would be. Yes, or I'm. <laughs> I think Black is very happy because huh. if Black connects, White can just push here. Now you realize, of course, that black is an artificial intelligence program and does not feel happiness as you or I might otherwise know the term. Well, I think if we just look at this board, I, I would pick black. You would be happy to play black, yeah. yeah. I we can say black. black is happy. I think that's legit. Its digital circuits are feeling joy. Well, well black played very flexible from, right. from the, from the um, sequence, right? We, we see black is very flexible. Hmm. So, so in the game, white actually ignored and black tarried here. White, so white didn't even play here. And white just tenukied. Oh, white played here and let black take. Trying to stay out into the bottom left, into the bottom right, right? So that means this, this is not code. Black can only, uh, white can only code two stones. Huh. Right, because the um, could you show us that just for the the folks watching along who don't have dons yet after their rank? Okay, if black plays here, um, white has to throw in right now. If you don't throw in, you you play anything here. This is dead, right? Sure looks dead to me. Looks dead, right? Yep. Squeeze, squeeze, yeah. squeeze. Right. So so you cannot you cannot Atari Atari still cannot escape. Right. Oh, this already dead you can't resist <laughs> so th this area but if, if white extends here black can live right so two eyes white has to throw in but this way black can black can still kill the two stones back it connects here even better and white kills the two stones in gote 
Hmm. Well, that seems uh, like... The result is white coat to the corner, upper left the corner. So that is an exchange. So he thinks that the, he has to... So he cannot he, he cannot uh, play here. And that's black block here. Later, black black block on this side. So so this black is... Basically, black is everything. Right. So I chose this one. Well, I chose this, this Atari. And uh, let black take and then jump out. Should we stop here and just switch to the other game? It seems that way. So I, I do know that um, the, the game played two days ago in round one. Apparently, Zen was playing at a very fast pace at only 40 seconds a move and was still yeah, able to... Sure. Because they got connection problems and uh, they worry about if they set the one minute, mm. they, they worry about the time. So they, they set up to 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds per move. I wonder if it is, if those connection issues have been straightened out because it does seem to be taking a more measured uh, approach in its time today, right? It does seem to be going a little bit slower. Um, don't know. Don't know. We'll have to see. All right. Do you want to switch over to Ryan's game? Okay, let's 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 switch to Ryan's game. All right, let's go have a look over there. Here is Ryan's game. Do, do, do. It has progressed quite a bit now. Ryan, obviously the uh, the underdog here, taking on world champion Chen Yaoya Nine P. Uh, he's also the American Go Association's fourth pro, third pro, third pro. Well, this game is fast. Yeah, they have been playing at a blistering <laughs> pace. And uh, we'll be honest, it would be upset of the year right here if Ryan pulled off a win. But I think it is still an informative game. Uh, also, we need to congratulate him. Apparently, he just got married. Uh huh. Heard he just recently got married to uh, Stephanie Yin, who's also been a guest here on the AGA channel. Um, and who we saw recently in the AlphaGo games. All right, so, so where do you want to start? What do you think about this game? It's gone by very quickly. Uh, so this game, Ryan's opponent is Chen Yaoye, 9P. Yeah. And Chen Yaoye is the top pro. Uh, the first round, Ryan played a two-down Chinese pro. Right. And I think that I look at the first game, uh, I didn't see any AI or AlphaGo taste in that game. Right. So they're playing the go, they understand. Right. But this game, I guess Ryan cannot avoid it because Chen Yaoye, I think the I think the funny thing is that the top pros are all trying, and you said they're copying AlphaGo or they're applying these AI ideas in their games. They're mimicking. Mimicking or trying to learn like sense and evasion and mm -hmm. the, this is high jump, this uh, enclosure, these moves. But the the lowdown, I, I, I just watched the uh, League C recently right. happened last week, finished last week, League C and Women's League B in China. And those games, I look at uh, lots of those games, and I think they are still playing their the Go they understand. Right. But the top pros are playing AIs, the Go they don't understand. They are the, forging off into the jungle. Yes. Right. <laughs> so this game, Ryan is black. Um, so, so this is the move that, uh, our human master goes again, re recommended and AlphaGo played. Mm. Mm -hmm. So they got the same idea. This a little a bit of move. an AlphaGo idea here. Yeah. An influence. Yeah. Um, so th this, and that, and then, um, black played here. Actually this move, I'm not sure about this move. Uh, our common sense, there's nothing wrong with this move, but from the, from a sequence like this one, and then white white jumps in. It feels like this stone is not at a very good place after this. My my thinking, because it seems too slow. I'm uh, sorry, too too close to the lower right. Right, you don't really want to block that corner. Mm. But it, it should be okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you, if you want to be more fast paced, right? Like this, this is more fast paced. Uh, if I play black, I will pick this one. And it, it, it seems more flexible, uh, like on the right side, on the bottom, or the other side. It, you don't have to make a decision right now. That's that's what I think. Okay. So he played here, mm -hmm. and white jumps in. So this one, because this this stone is is very close. So you you see that, for example, if if you play like this, then it seems like this stone is not at a very good place. Right? Not as efficient as it could be after that invasion. Yeah. 
And if you if you turn, the A stuff seems it's still just like we if a year ago we look at this, we would say there's nothing wrong with that. But now with the AIs, um, we saw a lot of AI games, and some of the things has changed. But we just leave it here. This, there's nothing wrong, I think. Hmm. I cannot um, criticize this move. I just don't like it. <laughs> that's a, that's a well, mild criticism. I, I think it might be a, a small criticism. It's, it's not 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 the style I like. But it is not. It, it's not. It, it doesn't mean it's not good, right? Uh, so this is a, um, this is a game. Um, Black picks this one, so he avoided the large avalanche. Mm -hmm. And this seems Black to cooperate well with the situation he's chosen in the lower right, right? Yes, yes. So, so this is fine. Uh, no, no problem. It's black. Black is building right on the top, mm -hmm. on top and right side. So this one, and actually, the first round, this move happened at I think it's Takao Shinji. Takao play. Shinji, the Japanese player. <laughs> Jiang Li did the first first round. This happened, and Jiang Li did didn't want to block here, and let White peep here and then pull back. This is I think that probably they have some study that they think this shape is heavy. Hmm. But in this game, uh, this is a real game. In this game, it seems okay because this stone is close. Now it's the so right if, place. If if you move A to B, then you worry about the C invasion, right? Oh. But this one it seems okay. So in that game, um, actually, Zhang Wenjie played here, and then White played here, Oof. and then they got into a brand new variation like this, something like this. Wow, not a Joseki <laughs> I've learned. But th in this board, that doesn't look very good for Black, because yeah, in this, on this board, it seems like the it's hard to say actually. I cannot make this judgment. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. I only could because I'm so weak. So. Um, so, so in this in this game, Ryan just played this one, and then and then White pulls back and then play here. So this so far, I think this the, it, it's pretty good. It is it, it's just it's just they they they're getting ready to fight. Hmm. Hmm. But when I look at this this board, I was thinking what Africa would play, <laughs> and and then my feeling is Africa might play something like this. Huh. Or something like this. This is Af in Afrogoose games. Sure, sure. That it, that invasion. I don't think. Well, what do you call that? Do you call that an invasion or a reduction or? I, it's yeah. Whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. <laughs> we just like, even this shoulder head Afrogo shoulder head a a large Kima a large knight's move Shimar. Right? This is all possible. And um, so Tianya is Tianya is very solid. He just answered, and then Black comes here. He says, "Okay, I'm going to make that, this bigger and bigger." Yeah, well, I think Black has to continue build, building this model. Right. And then, then still, this kind of moves. All this kind of moves. <laughs> this is my feeling is still here. Right. Um, Tianya actually jumped here. This is probably he 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 thinks this move it's easy for for white to settle here. Make but it I think, group. Right, but I think Ryan's next move is, I like this this shorter head. Mm. Ryan's next move. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. this move. So, so we, when when we look at the Africa games, I think that the, like this kind of moyo Africa usually goes from the outside. Very rare you see Africa jumps into the inside like that. But we don't, we, we don't know, like, the, 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 that's Africa knows how to handle this kind of things, right? So Tian Ye thinks this is the movie he knows what to do. Right. Um, so this shoulder head is good, um, because you see Black has this big moyo on the right side. So Black, want, Black wants to, for example, in the game, White, White pushes Black Honey, right? Right. It's OK, you let White live on the inside. But you, you have the outside, and you're building but another area like just as big on the right side. Yeah. Yes, right. So, um, white turns, black comes here, and after that, double honey. So it seems like this this area it's gonna be like black. Black is doing what what he wants to do, right? Uh, but something unexpected happened here when white Ataris, um Like most people would just just extend here without thinking, right? But here, Ryan actually played the 
cut. Yes, the cut. Right. Giving him that tanuki in the middle of the board. Very complicated co-fight. Sure. Uh, so, so let's look at this one first. If black con comes here, white white will probably play this one. This looks so this because if white plays connect, then this people will take the eyes is pretty painful. Sure. And it so gives white black those white. eyes on the left side. And white cannot continue because this way it's the outside. The white cannot kill the black stones. So white has to play this move. Then black turns and cross white. It seems like there's nothing wrong with this, right? It seems like this is black's plan. Mm -hmm. But he 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 chose this one. So this one, black white has to take, no choice. I think earlier, if white wants to avoid this, white has to play here. Hmm. But but black will continue push. Right. And if you play here, he pushes. This way, it seems like uh, white is not happy to get completely. Be completely surrounded and have to live on the top. Or maybe black will play here. This is a possible. I think maybe black black plays here is even better because the ladder works for black. So, so white Atari is here, black can run. Right. This could be the, the problem that Chen Yangye doesn't like this peep because this seems pretty painful. And this move actually settles black and takes white's, white's eye shape. So white is not alive now. If white Atari is like this, this is very painful, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so I guess this is the reason he didn't play here. He has to get this shape, then he's okay. Hmm. But Ryan just chose this one. Then it became a fight, co-fight. I think that Black also doesn't want to play here because, because if Black plays here, like on this side, there's all kinds of things, Oof. right? This, this kind of moves to them. So you, you, you haven't killed those three stones yet. Right, right. They're definitely not dead yet. Right. So like, like if Black comes here, there's the, the corner, there's all kinds of... So at, at least White has all kinds of ways to use the three stones. Mm -hmm. So he, he's not very happy. Maybe even, maybe white can just live its password. But I think at least this kind of moves is what work. Mm -hmm. So he, he has to play here to to start the call. Hmm. And for white, this is not, white is definitely not going to think about this move. Because with, without this exchange, you think that this move, white, white has a panuki on the outside. You're okay with that? Right. This this exchange happened. Then you see, I have a dumpling on the outside. You see the difference? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's no right. eyes there, whereas previously it had a lot more possibility, right? Right. So what? Suddenly, the outside, the five stones becomes very heavy. So white has to fight the coat. But the problem is that if white fights the coat directly, black takes. White cannot find a threat. Yeah. What could possibly be big enough? Right. So right now there's no threat. That's why Black thinks, okay, this is this code. I can fight this code. Huh. Um, in the game, Chen Yangye played this move. This is the creating threat. He's making the code threats. So he's coming right. all out swinging at Chen Yangye, and Chen Yangye says, "That's a bold move. Let's let's see how well that works out for you." And right. So actually, this this is this is very good idea because White Black cannot take the code right right now. Because, for example, white honey, right? You, you see that the difference is if if black if white plays here now, then play here. Black connects. It's it's this exchange. White white ended this useless stone at A. Mm -hmm. But but if if white if white plays here directly, oops, sorry, here if white plays here directly, right. black takes. White comes here. Let's say black connects, white will not play a stone here. Right. So, right. So this is a much better way for white to, to fight this code. So right now, black cannot take because the code is not. If, if black connects, you can see you can see black's not very efficient, right? Right. And that, that thickness on the outside doesn't seem like it's going to be nearly as valuable as now that white has like destroyed that shape in the corner, right? Right. It's like black spent too many moves, even though it's super super stick right but if black spent too many moves there and white got the corner so this is not acceptable and in the game white uh, black played here 
Um, now black white played here. So this this ko is and why didn't play this move to find the code? Right. So the difference between this one and the other one is that this code increases increases the value of this uh, this code. Hmm. So it's like you just think that after I finish the code, you want to put this down here or or, or there. It's like which is, which one is better, right? right? White's already thinking ahead to when the code is over. So B is better than A when the code is over. If you lose this, if you lose this code, right? If, yeah. if White loses this code, B is B is better than A because B will, will be useful in the future. Definitely, definitely. So that that reduces the value of the code. So that's why he played here. Um, black takes and then White played this threat, and then Black connected and then White pulls back. So they got a peaceful result. And I'm wondering, for example, if black answers, what's going on? Well, where would black's threat be? Uh, so if white takes, right, black connects, then there's no threat. Black can connect, has to connect. Mm. And then white pushes. I... In this case, white cannot, black probably cannot take the code. If black takes the code, white can just come here. Sure. This, this would be really bad for, for black. Right. Now that group on the left <laughs> yeah. just looks totally gone. Right. So, so black has to block. I think black has to block. Then th this is a tricky. What is white going to start the code now and, and use this as a threat? That's possible. Hmm. This is possible. Because if black connects, white takes, then there's no more threat. Right, right. Black has no threats here. Right. So, so white, white, why actually this Atari is a good move. I just realized this is a good move. It's better than the other Atari to start a code. Hmm. Because from this sequence, we see that if black answers, white takes. Right. Black doesn't have a good reply after this. Because black cannot do this kind of things. No, no. Of course, it's still there and black already destroyed this side. Right, it's toward his area. So black has to, right. So in this case, black has to give up and connect the code back. And then white comes here. This result, this result. You said it was peaceful, but how well, do we evaluate it? They didn't get into a very huge exchange. This, 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 this exchange, exchange is okay. <laughs> Both sides can accept. Okay. But I, my feeling is that Chen Yaoye is happy. Maybe Ryan is happy too. Hmm. Well, so Chen Yaoye now has four stones in the middle of Black's big framework. Yes. Right. He doesn't have to make them all live, but they're just going to be more useful later. And Black yes. can be somewhat happy that he's connected to the left, more or less, right? Yeah. So you just think that a white lived in, in Black's moyo is with lots of points, right? Mm -hmm. And those four stones on the um, touching black wall, they, the very sabaki, very light stones. Right. So, so white doesn't need to drag them out or take care of them, but they, they, they could be useful, like when there's a ladder going that way, <laughs> right? So this, so this result, I think mm, from their style, Chen Yi likes this kind of lots of cash and then reduce your moyo, this kind of, a game so I, I guess he's happy with it well he definitely does have a lot of cash at this point i mean black doesn't have cash right, right. now black has huge moil so how do you build the moil and, and and get enough especially because white's cash is getting fairly formidable between yes. the lower right and the left side it's hard to see when black is going to have time to invade or reduce those Right, and, and another thing we can see is that this stone is at a very good place. Mm -hmm. It's definitely better than any low moves at this on this board. Right, with the, with the low move, Ryan would be able to play a shoulder hit or a reduction and build out his moyo, right? Yes, so this helps to reduce the moyo. And then, um, let's see, white, black comes here. And then connect. This, this is the... Uh, this is the... Uh, the finish of this area. <laughs> Tidying up the shapes. And so Black yeah. has to expand expand his moyo here in the lower right, right? Yeah, this area, there's some annoying problem. 
you see, right? Yeah. This is scented, but in the future, the white connects, this black is not so good. Not connected yet. Well, black, if, if white has some stones on the, on the outside to help it. Yeah. This is still, this is still not quite good. This shape is a weakness. But black cannot answer, definitely cannot answer. If black answers, they get goated there. It's white way too slow to try and fix it, yeah. Right, so it's too easy for white to reduce this model. So black has to has to ignore that. Well, right now it's not a big deal. Like even if black plays here, it's not a big deal right now. It's just like, it, it's like, a, it, it's like a little bit, a little bit, you're losing a little bit, a little bit. It's just very bad mood. <laughs> right, right. I, I think I should stop saying very bad mood because we should be like AI being rational. Right, right. And we should just be flexible. We should just be flexible. Yeah. Okay, we now have this this position. We, we should be rational and, and make a judgment instead of saying I'm in bad mood. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Well, someone was saying, you know, Ryan as a newlywed, probably a fairly happy guy these days. You know, he might be in a good mood regardless of how he's he's getting a chance to play against Chen Yaye. It's pretty great. Uh, this 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 board actually it is still it's still very uh, early actually so you you just see that how does white reduce this more or right? something when is to getting mm -hmm. jumping something something here i don't know if it's uh, enough oh i think i know this one you know this one yeah i think i know this one he's going to jump out uh just to the left of tengen uh, uh he played here i think he, that's he what he played yeah he's playing so so he's probably aiming something on the left side mm. Mm -hmm. um, As you say, those, that annoying problem there on the left still persists. So yes, yes, that's still a problem. So this move, um, what I want to say, it, it's it's interesting because just like what we said that we used to think that okay, you have these uh, moyo and you have. White has these weak stones, you should attack. Right. But now we think, no, the AI told us so you don't have to think like that. Right. So you you can also jump in and take cash. So this is pretty interesting, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the problem is, is there something like like if white just connects, like but but there's this area, for example, white goes here, black has to play something here. Then mm. there's a cut. But th this is scented, so this should be okay. Oh, this is this is not like when white when white ne really needs to cut off this stone. This area white can still live, so it's not dead. Hmm. Can't black just approach on the left side now? It's something like c eight or c nine or c nine. Sorry, after if white pushes through. Where? It, so in the variation you showed, where uh, white pushes through. The knight's move at e12. You mean? Yeah, in this variation you just showed us. Mm -hmm. Here, maybe I can take control and show it. Oh, here. Yes. You mean, you mean black comes here? No, 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 no. The opposite. Um, let me take control. You showed this sequence, and then you had white pushing through. Uh, wouldn't something like this sort of be flexible because black is still connected? Uh, I'm not saying white is going to play here now. I'm saying oh, that oh, I see, I see. the problem in the future when white needs to cut that stone off, right? Right, 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 right. Um, so th this area locally, actually locally, white might not be. Black comes here, white plays here, this way. Oh. You, you locally, white, white, is, white is alive. White, white can even jump here. White is alive, but it's pretty painful. White, white is down to a few points. So white is not going to do this now, but just just saying that what white has th this this one push, or in the future maybe this one. Mm -hmm. um, in the game, this move. <laughs> I was just going to say white 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 might ignore it. That's what happened. It does seem like black is going to lose more of his potential than white is going to lose of his potential. So let's uh, let's make a positional judgment. Let's say if black um, answers here mm. and gets the right side territory. 
and then white might play something here, right? Something like this. Does black have enough? So... Character. So the right side, black has about 50 points. My feeling is it's not enough. Black has, points, white has 40 just on the left side alone. Yeah, 50 is not enough because lower right, white has 10, upper left to 20 something. Uh, on top, there's almost 10. And there's still lower left and other potential on the bottom, right? So this looks like it's not enough. This is the danger That's of putting I'm... all your eggs in one basket here, that one territory, while huge. Yeah, but, but actually this move, let white get, get to here, it's probably even, the situation could be worse. So that My suggests that, that black is maybe behind going into this position if we yeah. work our way backwards from there. So if we if we go back, if if you think that this situation black is black is good for white, then it could be the co problem on top. Hmm. So maybe that, a co fight is where black maybe okay. lost a couple steps. Mm -hmm. So should we switch to Zen's game? Your call. You want to see how that's developed? Okay. All right, we can switch back to Zen. We'll come back and uh, and see how the middle game has shaken out and if Ryan has made, been able to get an attack going on those white stones. All right, Zen game is live. Jenny, take it away. Okay. Where would you like where, to start? Where we, were we be earlier? We were, white had just made that two space extension in the lower left-hand corner. Okay, let's go to, ah, huh, Zen played as a first line jump instead of my attach move. What's wrong with my move? They might be equivalent, and the AI has no preference. See? What, why played this move? Black played this move. It's sort of... I, I don't see what's wrong with my move. If black, if black comes here, Black can kill here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so real game black play I, why is it here? What what if white goes here? Can black just push up? We have to do that. What's going what's happening here? What what is this? Uh can black just play B eight instead B8. of crawling? Oh this one. Oh, that one too. Uh, I went the one on the second line the other way. Okay. But that works. I mean, they're, they're kind of equivalent. Crawl, crawl will not work. Yeah, the crawl doesn't work. But if he pushes up the other way. Oh, I'm so bad at communicating. He plays here. This movie, you, oh, you want to live. I mean, Are you going to live? doesn't that kill everything above? If you play here, white pushes. This would die. Black would die. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would definitely. So you can live. But this seems better. It seems better to kill the, the, the four stones. Yep. Uh, black can connect. Oh, wait. The connect doesn't work. Black can make a co. Black can just reduce liberties and make a co. Hmm. But what's wrong with my move? <laughs> this is better. No, maybe maybe it like this. Sen. Maybe it doesn't like this one. Hmm. Doesn't like this result. Then wants to sacrifice. He doesn't want to live. Hmm. Mm. Okay. So so white played this first, and then black black tenuki, and then wow. What's this? If black, why Atari? Why has to Atari? Does black connect? So this is a, this this is a probe asking if you if you Atari or if you so 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 I saw something's gonna die at first. Nothing's gonna die. Just a, a probe. If white if white connects on this side, there's there's a you, you see that there's at least the two center moves here, right? Right, and now he's definitely connected. Connected back. Right. That's very clever. That's, so white has to Atari here. Then the, there's this Atari, and then the other the outside is uh, is weaker there if you connect, right? right. So that's 
That's the idea. And this is the game, actually, because yeah. now Black does play the other Atari and then I believe attaches directly. Now we can only guess the AI's ideas. Atari and then Crow and Cut, that's what then is going to do? I, I don't want to give it away, but yes, that's very much. Crow and Cut. Crow and Cut. Or just start there. <laughs> I saw Dennis going crazy and crawling and cut. <laughs> but it's almost the same, right? Like, we can just skip to the direct attachment, right? Mm -hmm. um, the direct attachment is different. You, you, if you attach white, black, white can turn, right? right. That's a different choice. But if, if white plays here, then it, it get back to my very. This is the game. That's right. White <laughs> didn't just turn. This is the game. Oh, so my, my idea is not bad. Mm hmm Um, so black doesn't, or white doesn't even want to play this turn. So, so he thinks that black takes advantage in Sente. He, he's not happy. He wants to fight. I would appear that way. But in this case, I think black can Tinuki and play elsewhere. Or black can play. What is the best way to continue? Just play here. What is the best? Way? I, I think black should Tinuki. Yes. Indeed. Black does Indeed. too. Right. So black Tinuki and then push and then cut again, make you feel bad. And in this case, uh, a white has to connect on the outside. There's no way to attack it from the inside. Otherwise, this, this I would call it a game over. Right. Right. That's a great Tsuji for all of us amateurs to know out there. Mm -hmm. You just look at the right side, it's all black. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's so, Zen's Zen's favorite type of game there. All of that there, center influence. Is there something on the inside? Is there some funny super Tsuji? I have a feeling you're about to find out. I, I don't see it right now. All will be revealed. I don't understand it. I only okay, see it on the little it. tiny postage stamp inset here on my Let's screen. Let's see what Zen is doing. Let's find okay. out. Wait. Wait. So if, what's this? Well, what if white just ignores and plays something here? So he gets this Atari, what's the use of it? And this Sente, is it useful? Your guess is as good as mine. It sure looks like black is on the verge of falling apart here. Really? I mean, what? or at least that these moves are maybe not part of a, a plan that we understand. Is this, is it not thinking it's behind? It's possible. Let's see how many points. White does not have a lot of territory. White has 30 points on the upper left. And 15 points on the lower left. So white has 45 points. Sure. Plus uh, the two, white has 50. So black thinks it's not, it's not. Or maybe it does something and then just just go away. That seems... You, you said Zen is falling apart? You saw the game already? I don't think Zen is falling apart. But I do think that Zen's plan is not immediately obvious to me, that's for sure. Is this doing something? I am the wrong guy to ask. This doesn't do anything, right? Nothing that I see. There's nothing here. So if black turns... White can just cut on the outside, right? White cuts on the outside, black turns. White connects. What's this? Maybe, maybe there's some liberty issue. Black do something. Oh, now there's an idea. But there's this move. Then has has then read everything already. It's possible. So in the the previous game that we broadcast here on the AGA channel against Cho Chi Hoon, uh, Nine Dot Professional, there was some controversy in game three where uh, Zen's operator uh, resigned the game while Zen was still quite happily fighting, and the position was really very very complicated but it did look like there was a narrow way through that Zen 
could make the game very, very complicated for Cho Chi Hoon. Um, and it sounded like the res resignation took Cho Chi Hoon by surprise. It's you know quite possible that Zen sees a very complicated sequence here, and we're just gonna okay, have to so wait to see what it is. So this 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 is just nothing, and then 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 just realize okay, it's nothing. But I don't think this situation is bad for Black. It still looks well, like a pretty that, good board for Black. Well, that game you you just mentioned the game um, game three, which mm -hmm. is and said that game actually the Chinese pros uh, studied that game, continue play, and if Zen played correctly, then can win by a little bit. Hmm. Then is ahead by a little bit. So that means then could win by a little bit. So Zen was very right in, very correct in not resigning. <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't think it, why, why did Black do this exchange? Uh, because if Black do this exchange, the earlier, at least when White, if White, if White Ataris, if White Ataris at B, so without this, let, let's let's take this stone away, right? If, if without this, and let's put two stones here, like that. Yeah. It won't let you because the black because the white stone's still there. Oh, I need to take this one. There you go. If it's like this, right? Sure. And and in the future, if, if white Ataris black comes here, white has to come back here right. instead of moving out. But black did that exchange. In the game, then why in the future, why the tower is the black connects, I can push out. You see the difference, right? Right. So I thought black might not want to do that exchange, but they have their thinking. So it's okay. Maybe it doesn't matter. They so, have but their thing here. Right. They have their long form matrix multiplication. Nicole, thinking. So white uh, dives in. How it seems like this is still a good board for black in terms of being able to make a large territory in the center. I counted white fifty points. Right. So you think that the, the rest of the board worth more than worth worth sixty points for black. If I, that worth sixty points. I mean black it can have sixty points more than black can win. Right. And it seems plausible uh, to me. One. I mean this move makes me feel the invasion move might not be the right place. <laughs> Could it be somewhere higher or somewhere higher here or somewhere in the, in the middle? It's possible. For example, something here. Because black is not going to enclose on the bottom. And, and this movie, is, it, it makes me feel that white is going to the direction, like the bottom is not the direction white wants. So, honey, and, and this one. Uh, Looks like white's getting a really heavy group here. Yes. Honey, very good. And then double honey, yes. And and we've seen this on KGS a lot, where Zen has no qualms about killing in the middle of its big sphere of influence that it's built in the center. So, so this is current. Seems that way. It seems like Zen is playing actually, much. Sorry, go ahead. It already. This is the forcing move. Then then one has to extend here. So I'm wondering if then going to save the bottom or just continue push all the way to, to the end. For example, continue push like this. And the good thing is that white, white has to go here first and then black has this, this area. So the bottom white might not get so much. Oops, did I mess up the Esther file if this is not the real game? No, no, no. The new moves will, will oh, be played along. Okay. This is a real game. Mm -hmm. It's the same as my move. Okay, so, oh, he did continue push. My guess is he's probably focused on the Ryan Lee game right now, which is probably in the end game and they're probably playing fairly uh, well. Okay. Um, so what Black will push all the way, I think. Then the, the center becomes a huge, but this is, is this enough for Black, I mean? The 
because black what white has, has this stone here right on this side so it's not so easy for black to enclose everything on the right side let's that, see that exchange on the top of uh is it h18 for k18 seems to really help white there huh yes so continue push 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 <laughs> And then white has to turn okay. So, so if, if, if white plays here, um, black is black going to play here, or black would just play here. It this depends on like how how much black needs to enclose on this side. Hmm. But the bottom white had actually got a lot. For example, if white got sente, get this move. The bottom is like another 20, 30 points, right? Sure. So that would bring white up to 80 points. I really want to see Zen's win rate. If is Zen thinks he's winning. Do you, know Do you want to continue this game or we should switch to Ryan's game? It looks like there's still a bunch of more moves being added right now. Uh, of this game? Of okay. this game, yeah. After the approach in the upper right. Maybe we mm -hmm. can talk about that and then switch back. Or we can take a little break. It's entirely up to you. We, we can look at the rest of the game, but I think this game actually, my feeling is white might has a chance because mm -hmm. because the, this we could be wrong. Maybe Zen thinks there's no chance because this this area, if black cannot kill white with a like how, for example, if black attacks like this, it's, it did play here. It did, and then it played the high if jump. Black kill white, then black has black doesn't have enough territory. It seems like that high move right there says that black really has to kill, right? So. Yeah, white has at least 50 points cash. And I didn't count to this area, right? This area, white might get something from here. But I don't see black's cash right now. It's all about this big model. So. This is the, this is the, this is a game what we have so far. Hmm. That's right. Oh, this one. And white so, is playing to settle. Yeah, this move. This move. White. White just wants to. White wants. White just wants to. For example, if black plays here, something like this. If white lives, we we can see a variation like this. We could even count the territory after this, right? If white lives like this, my feeling is black doesn't have enough. Can black turn to attacking the bottom with uh, something like J3? Black has to worry about your, you have to first get this back, right? Well, can't he take it? Can he take it now? You mean play here now? Yeah. Yeah, but black cannot kill the bottom, right? This is obvious. Oh, I could die with white for sure. You can die? No, this won't die. Okay. <laughs> So real game. Oh, oops, this is this is a game. Did did I mess up? The mess? No, no, no. Oh, this... I shouldn't play when 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 I shouldn't do a variation when it's not played. No, it's okay. They'll they'll get added on at the top of the tree. Actually, it did play like this. I saw another app. It's oh. it's this is this is the current. Okay. And why did play here? They are following my variation. And and this this is the game. Right. This is the game. So maybe black will play this honey in this case. I think this honey, but if, if it's like this and black cannot go white, black might not have enough cash. 30 points on the right side. And the left side, black hasn't killed the two stones yet. Hmm, that's right. Yeah. This result, I think white has a chance, maybe. So why is black still play the outside? This is a this is a human pattern. So it's most likely it's going to be oh cut. And then black has to play here. It's not it's not very different. Mm -hmm. And then white has still has to come here. 
Uh, okay, so black if black comes here, white goes here. Maybe black can play here. Why, why is this cut a bit more? Oh, it's about the same. Why still goes here? Like this. Mm, okay, let's see. There are two more moves. Yeah, this is the game. White plays with this Atari and black needs to connect. So most likely, mm, white is not going to connect on the second line, but after black connects, white is going to extend on the fifth line. But black can actually gets a lot in the center. So if, if black gets, gets the Big thing in the center. That would be three by. Sixty points, but still might not be good enough. That's a lot of points. Yeah, but what if white lives in Sente? In Sente? Yeah. Oh. If white lives in Sente, I would think white is ha ahead. Maybe I'm. <laughs> Oh, I played white actually, real game, black connected here, white played it here. So this is still, this is still, for example, you, this still this turn. Yeah, for example, you could play here. Black cross, white can come here. Then black, black cannot, there's Atari, you see this? This Atari and that the ladder works for white, so black will right. cannot save the center and the two stumps. So black still has to has to fix that. So in the game, white played this one. White white played connect, and then black played the Atari. Now white has to connect. But after that, after that, black might have to take that one stone is on that survive line. yeah why well, connect it should i leave this and, uh, and switch to the other game it's entirely up to you we can okay. switch we can let's, take a break whatever okay. you want to do let's see if ryan gets any chances let's see how ryan's been doing all right back to ryan if you're just joining us this is the american go association's uh live stream of the m lily cup round two we have the AGA professional Ryan Lee playing world champ Chen Yao Ye Nandan Pro. Uh, Ryan on the black stones, Chen Yao Ye with the white stones where we left it. Uh, Ryan had built this Moyo and Chen Yao Ye is lightly reducing uh, after having ignored Ryan's invasion in the lower left hand corner there. I'm I think right now, Ryan has to play something good to, to catch up. Right. Because you, you see that we don't see black's cash. On the right side, it's, it's like. If you count the third line territory, it's only 30 points, which is not enough. Because white, I believe, had over, um, we had over 50 on the left side and the lower right and the top. Um, you count 50 on the left side? Well, we did. We did before <laughs> Ryan invaded. Uh, before obviously, invasion. it can't be 50 anymore. <laughs> no, but at, at least white has 30, right? Mm. Three, three, three parts, upper left corner, lower right, and the top. So I think white black needs to attack better. Jumps out. White white is very see jumping in. It's like I I'm going to take everything and you have nothing left. <laughs> that is what it's looking like. So Ryan of course needs to counter punch. He has to do something. So peep. Attach and I think this is this is not so easy to to attack. Mm, okay, so white just played here. So I, I, if if black comes here, white can even even do this exchange and then play something like this. Hmm. If black cannot kill, it most likely it, it's this doesn't look like a group <laughs> where black can kill. Right. Then black will lose all the territory on the on the right. So he played he played here directly. So he just, he just because if, if if white answers here, right, then then something like this, just cut and fight. So why why do I think I'm sure white would treat these stones like stone, the the 
the stones touching black swan on the oh. those guys, right? Yeah, these guys. So in the game, black white play here, but after this, white is not connected. Black still can cut like this, hmm. but if black cuts like this, black has to give up this side, or white can even continue push. This is very. This looks pretty. White, white, black stops it like this. And then, what's gonna Atari, Atari, and kill this one? It yeah, seems so like he can't cut immediately. I think this is not enough for black because if black give up, gives up the lower right, that's too much. And center, black cannot kill everything. Like, like you, you can kill these guys. And maybe you cannot kill this, these guys. Be, be, be stuck. So that will not, that will not be enough. Um, just this is enough. What if white peeps here? Yes, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. So is he telling us we should stay calm and and wait for chances? Is Ryan telling us that you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that does seem to be what Ryan's doing. Okay. He's realized he can't fight that way, and he has to wait a bit. Okay, let's look at the, the board. Uh, right now, white, white is connected back. And the right side, black has about 30 points still. And, and black actually created some problems here versus this one. It means black has no advantage to attack the B, hmm. B, B area. You can't make territory attacking B. Yes, right. Because black also has a burden at A. So that that will this is this is the game. Mm -hmm. So black so what why thinks this is enough? Why thinks this this if, if for example if black and move something like this, why thinks that just kill this is enough? Something like this. Also white still has some potential to build territory on the bottom. Right. And this is how your judgment takes this first. Okay, so after that, black has to still has to live on this side. Uh, this game, I think, I think white is white, white is ahead right now. Well, it does look like white's taking fifth line territory there on the bottom. <laughs> White is doing that. That's that's usually a good sign. Mm -hmm. So, black jumping again. But but actually, like this kind of game, it, it, for humans, it's still there are lots of chances to make mistakes. So it's a, it's still far far away from saying that White is winning. White is going to win. Right. My feeling is, if black jumping. Because white doesn't have to build a lot of territory on the bottom to win. So something like this maybe is, for example, if black lives here, white 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 can save these guys. It's still white still okay. Hmm. Let's see what he did. He he just he just comes up from here. <laughs> he, he, He's like, so, so normally we think that, for example, I would first think about like something like this, right? If you play here, but maybe Tianyu doesn't like this. But actually, this is still not alive for Black. I, my thinking is that you, you should let, you can let uh, Black help you to connect back from, like Black when Black is running, something like this, right? But he, he just, he just kind of, he just ignore that and just come out from here. Um, and if black goes here, is white going to play here? Maybe this is the sequence he's expecting, hmm. which is even better than mine, because <laughs> because this way white white will kill this one. Mm -hmm. A clean kill. Yeah. And and in the center, you see that white can still push this. A or B to get into the center. So the center is not enclosed. Okay, in the game, what did he do? Ryan played here. This feels like what if something like this? What if white just plays here? 
if that pushes right, I can play here. So this is the, at least we see there's a cut, right? Mm -hmm. This will cut back. And that black so this has to make life. So, so I guess the thing is that he wants to play here because this shape doesn't leave any weakness, but he probably worried about this move. So he has to go farther, but go, going here, you, you have to leave some weakness here. And you know, he did an attack. Is he thinking he's ahead? He has, he, his, his win rate is high right now, he thinks. <laughs> his simulation playouts. So, but but I, I, I'm not sure because the, if you if you play slack moves, you might you might suddenly realize, oh, I'm not so ahead, right? Right. Still here. See, this is the price you have to pay for the for for this knight's move. Yeah. So this is what happened. This is a game. Mm -hmm. And black has to connect the back. Ooh. Oh, this, these three stones are not important. Does seem to be what he's okay. saying. Mm. Sorry? It, it does. I, it seems to be that that's what he's saying, that those three stones are not important. That those three stones are not important. That's correct. Because, because these three stones are not cutting anything, right? It, otherwise, black, white gets sent it. So this is, this is right. But, the, but for why, why is it? It's not about these three stones. It's about these, these, these are everything, right? Everything here. Right. It's about the, the group to the, in the middle, right? A and the mm -hmm. group to the left of A. It, is it possible I can just play here? <laughs> if this works. Um, my, my, I guess he thinks his win rate is high, so he doesn't have to risk. So push first. That's that's preparing for this, I guess. Mm. If, if black answers, white is going to play here, and then this looks like it might work, or maybe this one. Those four stones look pretty lonely, though. Might not be dead, completely dead, but for example, if white comes here, black has this move. It seems like black has escaped. Like this, right? Oh, there's this move. And white can still kill the four stones. I'd escape there. Mm -hmm. Which if, would be black, enough for white, black, because then white's alive. Mm -hmm. And if black connects, white connects. Uh, this still cut. Who wins? Me? <laughs> it's not finished yet. <laughs> well, now can't white push through on the top? Oh, no, I guess not Not finished yet. Oh, there's a there's take, so it's, it's still dead. Still dead. Phew. So, so this is for the preparation. He's preparing for something there. So black pushes, black pulls back here. And then white gets this in center. And then black lifts. Hmm. So the territory hasn't changed. Still 30 because, points on the right. Yeah. Maybe a couple on the bottom and the left. Is the bottom group safe now? It's not killable, but for example, I can still have these moves to reduce the, the space, right? Right. So not a lot of points. I'm wondering if Tianyang is going to do something here in the center. Ah, peep. You found it. No, this is his move. I didn't see. I was looking at it, something on the upper left. Ah, ah. I thought you were you were guessing. Uh, so, so there's some. So if, if black comes here, there's this push, and then there's this this move, and white can get into black's territory. Hmm. But black cannot connect. Black connects. This is still. This is. This this is still this problem. Or white would just extend here, then black will not get so much here. And then the, this side on the left, the black stone's getting weaker, right? Then, then he, can, he might be able to do something. Um, for example, if, if you continue to enclose, maybe this kind of thing, and then black is not alive. Hmm. 
and black has connection problem. So if black cannot connect, this this could be a big problem, right? Mm. So black pushes. Black resists. And then here, why is this move? I thought white could kill the three stones in the center. Why, why is this a problem? Is there any problem here? So there's there so so let's 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 look at this area. There's this attach. Looks plausible. And then this Atari. And then this Atari. And then this Atari. And then this push. There's oh. something here. <laughs> Just like that. Magic. Just like that. So why put Oh, so this is a good sequence to ask you first and then leave some some problem there and then go back to fix this. And what Black has to worry about, the bottom is not 100% alive, right? Right. So Black live, comes here, live. Yes. Seems like you get some points there. Mm -hmm. Now this move comes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're expecting it. And... Um, Black cannot fix anything here. There's a push and cut. You see, then this will die, right? So black has to connect on a move. Atari and then push back. Um, this is not now we can count. We can we can see how many points. So upper right to black has 35 plus the, the top 40 and then 50 black has like 55 points on the board okay and for those of you just joining us i'm andrew jackson this is jenny shen two down professional from the china chiyuan uh we're watching the m lily cup round two this is the third m lily cup last year's was held by Kojie in a uh, thrilling finish uh against lee sedol um, someone observed that the two M Lily Cups here have basically bracketed the entire rise and uh, orbit of AlphaGo, uh, as the first matches were played shortly after last uh, the last finals uh, in March of 2016, and then this year we have just seen the second game and its retirement. So at the two M Lily Cups here have sort of bracketed AlphaGo's entire career. And we are still watching the players work through it. Uh, Ryan Lee, American Go professional, uh, 1P, has the Black Stones against White Chen Yaye, uh, international champion. Jenny, you look like you're done counting there. I think, that, I, I think that that it, it's still not very clearly that White is winning this game. It's not very clear. Oh. So this area, if Black runs, it's definitely bad, right? You can see this, this would be bad. That looks awkward. Mm. So black black comes here, and then white connects. Uh, this way, then white will continue to push this one. No, he didn't play here right now. But this one is this place is not co closed. This this. The white can still get in from here. You can see. White place here. This this move is very big. Mm. It's attacking the two stones. Right. And also make sure that his corner, this points and make sure this this area, there's no black cannot take advantage there. So this is more important than getting to the center of that because those those are those are end game moves. This one. I think I think <laughs> I was going to say I was going to say Ryan fighting very hard, which is very good. Right. I mean, it seems like if we're 120 moves in here into the advanced middle game, and it's not clear that he's lost, I think that that is a right, right, great result. And then, and then this what's, what's oh, happening? but this face uh, can you can you guide us through what thoughts were going through your head because you just looked very surprised at what you just saw. 
Could you maybe clarify what it was that was so remarkable about this sequence? I, I have no idea yet. I was like, what is this? <laughs> mm. So this this plays right Atari first. Oh, he did play here. Mm -hmm. And then is he going to play here or something? So if white honey here, black will come here, right? If white connects, white is going to kill his group. That this group will die, the center group. Black is see. going to kill white's group. Right. Right. And this would be great so for black. Why can I honey from there? This one? Something here? Why has to go from the outside? Or just come come here? Oh, yep. that's it. That one looks good. <laughs> that's my third guess. <laughs> Um, but black, if black, if this is center, oh, he did play here. If this is center, can black move? Uh... So what, why do needs to, why needs to either come here or, or play here to fix the Atari? There, there's this Atari, right? You see that Atari right. at A and then honey at B, then white can kill the cutting stuff. And black's group is all connected and he's very happy, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, white pushes here. So he he what he, you know what he wants to do? He wants he wants you to come come here, and then he's going to push, and then he's going to come here, and then he's going to leave some Aji there. And if you play here, then white goes first. Right. On and side. and now your left side is probably going to die. Yes. Right. So, but if you don't, there is this problem, right? Then the other side is going to die. <laughs> The, the bottom is going to die. So that's the meaning of that push. Black connects directly. He still, he still pushes to, let, to, to reduce your liberties because in the future, if both sides live, I mean, the two black groups live, then the push will not be sent it. But this kind of push is to reduce the liberties mm -hmm. for the future. So this is the right time to get that. That's a good sequence. Yes, good sequence. So Ryan is still working hard. He, he has to he has to work on both sides because he he needs to live on live on the left side and make sure the bottom is okay. This move looks good. This looks a good looks like a good move, but I'm wondering if if Tenyali is going to counterattack. Like for example, is there something like this? He didn't. But I'm, I'm thinking like if, if, if you can get this exchange, but it's still not, doesn't help so much. So this, this attack is still a good move. Mm. Mm -hmm. Black is going to play here. No, he didn't play here. So if black plays here, why cannot Atari because of this Atari, right? So you can see, he, he just pulled back. Yeah, he pulled back. Right. So before black lives, white black wants to take advantage first, and it, it's even a, a life and death that black is killing white. It's possible killing the corner. I mean, you got a dream, right? Mm -hmm. And then this this place then and then becomes the, the two groups are fighting and who kills oh, who? Oh, oh. Okay, so that's great. If he gets this pullback, does white have to answer him now in the corner, or does he? Yeah, white definitely needs to answer in the corner. Right. But where? So this actually, this this place, for example, if you play here, then black comes here, right? Locally, white is already dead shape. Mm. Right. And then black needs to, black might play this throwing, and then it becomes a capture race. Uh -huh. Oh, actually, Actually, black doesn't even need to. Black needs to just throw in, and then black can turn on king now. Because if white goes here, black can just just play here. Is this does this work? Wow. This is this is, this becomes very complicated. Right, that, that seems like. <laughs> yeah. <yes. laughs> this becomes very complicated. So maybe black still has to add a move there. If you come at the king, you best not miss. That's for sure. And he is definitely taking a shot. Yeah, so where, where should white fix this place? Or is it here? But if white plays here, there's this clamp, right? You see this this mm -hmm. place actually Ryan's at the attack was very good. That attachment uh D two seems to be very sharp. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's a good move. So black play, or white played here first. He still plays here first. He's asking. So if black answers, this is the current, this is the game so far. <laughs> if black answers. Can he do uh, G3, as you were saying, that empty triangle? Can I do variation? Yeah, go for it, by all means. So if black guitar comes here, white right, Atari, but if white plays here now, black can get this peep. Oh, still not alive. Still not alive. This doesn't work for white. What? Uh oh. So what? What can white? But but because this one is not sentient now, white can just look here. Now white is alive. This is probably the plan. But what if? What about that G three move that you showed briefly? Yes. Yes. So so first of all, if he answers, it's good. White can live. So if we press here, right, this is your move. Um, if you play here, this is going to be, what if white blocks? What if white blocks? Can I Hane connect and then threaten to cut above? You definitely can do it. Can black, can white go here? Can black cut? Ooh. Who wins? Who wins? I would say black wins this, but I don't know after L2. I win. Why wins? <laughs> <laughs> Why wins? Yep. Co? Oof. Oh, this is a co. So this is risky, right? That looks, yeah, that, that co would be a big risk for black for sure. Uh, he didn't play your move. He played this move. Hmm. So white is lived. White is lived. But now yeah, he gets to live on the left side, right? Uh, so now it's black's turn to live. This is current. It's black locally. Locally, white blocks. Um, black can just make eyes, make an eye to live. Hmm. This seems like seems okay. So black seems okay right now. Okay, let, let's just switch to the other game. But All right, back to Zen. Then, Do you want to take a little bit of a break here? Maybe a couple minutes, get some water. You're still good. You want to go right to Zen? I will just let's just just continue looking at it. All right, let's do it. We'll keep going. I'm still looking at it. All right, we'll keep going. All right, <laughs> back over to Zen. Uh, no, before that, let's let's count a little. Oh, we'll go back. We'll count. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go back to the other game that we're watching here, which is uh, Deep Zen Go, the AI program out of Japan, against uh, Wang Changhao. Whoop, did I get that Wang right? Wang Haoyang. Wang Haoyang. Thank you. Wang Haoyang. Um, six down professional uh, of China. They are in a match in what is thought to be possibly the last tournament that will have artificial intelligence in it as we are seeing numerous reports that the uh, the professional associations are maybe agreeing that this is probably a bad idea to uh, uh, to have AIs competing at the same time, um, especially if they can train several million games between rounds. makes it rather difficult to keep up. I think this game right now, White is ahead, but not so much. Close game? Mm, I think White is ahead. But when it's not not ahead by a lot, just like um, by a little bit, not so much. Can you can you quantify a little bit? Are we within Comey? Black ahead on the board? Something like that, Comey. Wow. Okay, let's look at Zen. All right, back to Zen. I want to see, want to see what Zen is doing. We'll come back and revisit Ryan's game. Uh, they asked how long, how much time the players have, and Jenny, uh, correct me I if I've. It's right. two hours initial time for each player, and then five times one minute spiel, Yomi. There you have it. What's happening now? Oh, they didn't play much. So uh, it's basically just my variation, continue, just my continuation, and then why play this cushion? Right, so he should... So what... what oh, well, he didn't like it. Then didn't like my the, the way that... 
black loop shall wipe the next. So let's go back to the right. So that's where we left off here. Yeah. So black connects, white connects right. here. We, black attire is white connect. We said black cannot be looking here because otherwise there's a turn. A ladder. Yep. Yeah. But this way, white would kill the two stones. Right. The other way, the ladder works. Right. Right. So, so white black has to fix this. Right. Oh, this first. Right. That goes here first. Says I'm going to kill that whole bottom. So can white attar here? Can white attar series so black going to play here and and just cut like this? I bet on it. That seems so like it's all in. <laughs> um. So if white plays here, and black goes here. It's still black is going to play. When black is is too strong, everywhere black mm. can play any anything like this. As long as he can cut you up, he can do that. So what's going on? Is white going to extend? Extend is very painful. Oh, he did play here. The, the move I called painful. <laughs> and black cross back. So so here, um, black would just ignore this extent because right now it's not urgent. Hmm. Black is killing the bottom, the white group. So if black white comes here, black would just ignore that. And to kill the bottom. Yes. Right. So here, what's going on? If white pushes, oh, he did push. Mm -hmm. Black blocks. White is white going to? Whoops. Well, Zen didn't block. Zen didn't block. It was surprise, yeah. a surprise. So if if black blocks, white is going to cut, right. and then white is going to honey here. That's my guess. And then this is pretty painful for black because if you if black takes, white connects. Oof. And now there's oh, problems white, on the other side. White can do this first, right? This right. one first. And then black cannot kill white. There, there's a cut. Now you're in trouble. If I protect that cut, don't I also protect against white extending out? If you protect this cut, white is alive. But I don't have to capture the stone above, right? At R8. Which one? The one. Oh, you mean that? But this, this, way, this way black loses so much cash. Oh, it's too big. That's right. It's too big, yes. Right. But Zen didn't block. Zen didn't block. Maybe he doesn't like this result. Uh, Zen played here. Just sealing off that corner territory. Mm -hmm. So white plays here. Hey, this one. Oh, so black is a white. White is okay. So white is alive. I was looking at this, this, this one, and then this one. This is the strongest move, but at least it would then can live like uh, why can live like this? Oh, just, 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 just clap, just clap is better. Mm, mm. White has two eyes, <laughs> so, so that means white cannot, a uh, black cannot kill. Do you think Zen's Zen's win rate is high right now? I'm not sure. So after this, I white haven't counted. Live. White has to live, and then black turn here. Uh, let's let's count and count the territory in the center. How many points? Can you maybe draw some lines with the triangles to show us what you're counting? Maybe this mark off area. where you're. It's a whole area. It's a whole area, up to this corner. Okay. Um, th this is not an all territory yet. So, I mean, up to this line is territory. Up to this line is territory. This line. I count it 65. 65 is enough. It doesn't look quite like it's enough. Counted 30 in the upper left. Um, 
Because Black, White House, White House has sixty-five right now. Upper right corner is is not territory yet. Hmm. So then, then six, this is okay. Hmm. This game is different with the, the game one because game one uh, didn't play very very well, I think, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the opponent didn't see any chances. But this one, but it this seems one is... like that upper left sequence was a little bit weird. Yes. Well, at least the upper left then didn't gain something, gain anything. It's just they were just it, computer it so moves where they <laughs> they just sort of look like those moves where the computers sort of give away their forcing moves to no real discernible benefit. Mm -hmm. So what's going on here? Oh, I hate this. So he ignored. If it can know, why can just play here and get everything? And black kill now? Kill where? Uh, the right side. No, before this, black white can do this sequence. I mean, locally, white can do this. Oh, he did play here. Mm. So if black answers, right? If black blocks, I guess he won't. Can white kill everything here? Well, black black just made another 20 points in the center, though, right? Right now, your move doesn't work. This is connect and die. Oh no. And this move won't work either. So it's dead. Um, but then my uh, black might be playing. Isn't that co? Did I, did I see yeah. that wrong? Which one is a co? With B9, black B9 after a few farther. Now I cut it before. No, that's not a call. White has three liberties. Yep, no call. I lied. No call. Um, does this work? <laughs> if you want to make a call. But this is already very crazy like this. That sounds <laughs> bad. Wow. And then? That and wasn't then... the call I was talking about. I, I don't want to go down that path. That looks scary. <laughs> Um, if white connects, what says? What says? Black guitar is here. That's scary. <laughs> um, so it's still there's some idea, right? Black, if white goes here, then there's a call. Now there's a call. Now there's a No, that's, that's not a call, is it? No, it's not a call. It's still not a call. It, it, it's, there's no no problem. This is two code. And this code and this code. What's this? So, so white, white can actually, if white can play here to, to kill this, that would be a lot of points again. <sighs> Zen is sinking right now. Oh, no. Uh, Zen played that one. Then play that one. This is a real game, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So definitely, then, then definitely cannot answer here. Right. This is too small. So then the black has to come here. This will be a code. Then here. Or this. Huh? Not there no, either. No, it's not a code. It's dead. There's no more code now after this is throwing. Right. Mm, that's dead. So so if, if black comes here, white just needs to reduce liberties. This is dead. Black is dead, I mean. How come I feel white has a chance in this game? Uh, I'm not sure, but I... I'm confident in Zen's ability to make that center of really big. 75 points. White has 75. It's black. It's white's turn right now. I really think white has a chance. Hmm. But, but, but let me count again. Okay. 
and make sure that I didn't count very off. Um, while you're counting, black there is Deep Zen Go, the AI program from Japan, and white is Wang Haoyang 6 Pro. Uh, folks had talked about the unlucky fellow who drew Zen in the first round, and my understanding is that the pros aren't exactly looking forward to facing him, as they seem to think uh, that Zen is favored to win. Certainly in his online play, uh, thanks to Yun Xia in the YouTube chat, who's been uh, pr providing us with those statistics, says Zen has been winning about 5-1 to one in his online matches in the last several months against all comers, uh, all professional games at least, that we've seen. And that 5-1 to one, uh, win rate definitely would put Zen in the ranks of top pros and make him a favorite to win the tournament. Him, uh, it, excuse me. Uh, strong apologies there, there is no gender. Uh, it's Wang Haoyang, he is the one who is maybe a little bit uh, concerned about what's going on. Um, Jenny, are you done counting? I think at least it's a close. close. What black is now winning. Got it. So the corner, white can still take advantage in the corner. And the bottom white has some points. The center looks huge. It really does look huge. So what, white also got some points here. So. Well, it looks like black is getting a lot of forcing moves there to expand that yeah. center. <sighs> At this point, you just need to count it non-stop and figure out who wins. Hmm. The, this this place, there's a white white has a white has this Atari and push, so it's not black. Black is miss, black still needs to move here hmm. to enclose everything. Right. And the corner, the corner should be at least the white can get a call. So, for example. If, for, for example, if black comes here, this corner, I mean, if white, if white is not happy with the situation, fighting a call, because this call, I mean, this call, fighting the call, and then the white has a chance to kill the corner. Right. <laughs> That's what it needs to do. So then play some forcing move here. And then this forcing move. And this forcing move. And then this forcing move, all forcing moves. Right. That's it. And so it's here, like, oh, actually, this place is not a big problem now. And and how does black enclose the top? Maybe white, black can just block here. So this area, we, we say, we see that this is like this. And then white Ataris. Uh-oh. Black cannot, black cannot save this. Otherwise. Right. Oh, black white doesn't even need to play this Atari. White can just play here and then cut. But this way, black can live. Yeah, black's just alive independently black now. So white still needs Atari. But this, is, at least this place is not finished. If white gets this Atari, then black can... Is black actually alive there? Earlier, you mean without that Atari? We, yeah. This one is Sente. But, oh yeah, because that's, that's, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, Sente. So black and living is Sente. Right, that would be big. Because this won't work, this is Sente. Mm -hmm. This is Kills, so black is alive. But if white gets an Atari, it's different. White gets this Atari. If black connects, I guess black cannot connect. This one, this one, and then cut. Now, now black cannot play here. Right. This work now this is hard wow, wow. That's... so and... so black can still play get this sente earlier like this wait why should play here sorry and black has two centers here so actually this is not as big as what we saw and actually white just played that prior to the other sequences that you've shown black did just get black that forcing move right now Mm, which forcing move? This, this is forced. The C7 one. C7. Um, black can do can get C7 in center. Right. That's right. black. Just took it. I just saw it on the inset there. So this is not so big. Right. This 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 area. I cannot get in so much. And and what 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 we can do is like this, and then play here. 
and let's grab connect. This is better uh, MD move. So let's see what they did. They played a few moves. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not forcing moves. For forcing move again. They played here. Forcing move. Forcing move. Forcing move. Right. Then nothing. <laughs> and now nothing. That's right. So these games are playing, being played live in China right now. Um, each player has two hours thinking time plus five periods of one minute each. Uh, yeah, they're playing in China. And it looks like this game, uh, Deep Zen against Wang Haoyang, is settling into a uh, a very long end game, which with with what looks to be a very close game, uh, contrasted with Deep Zen's game in the first round, where he seemed to give the human player very few chances. Hey, what? What's Zen doing? Kids playing these forcing moves. Thank Does you. this mean Zen is not the win rate is not high and it's not happy? It's it's not. Thinking about Let's starting switch a cup. Back to Ryan's game and let's go back later. All right, we'll switch back to Ryan's game. We'll come back to revisit this one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what what Zen is doing. Playing, we keep playing these forcing moves. Let's wait until he. We'll have to something. see. Yeah, we'll have to <laughs> wait till Zen reveals the plan there. Yeah. Okay, so I, I saw Ryan's game. Everything lived. Let's go back to where we showed earlier. All right. Now. Let me... But it seems like on upper left, it's saying I did something. Okay, the, this attach is a good move. Uh, after that, white lived. Right. And now white attaches on, on the, across the knight's move. Why didn't white do this exchange earlier before before that? Why didn't white do this exchange? What's wrong with this exchange? He doesn't want to reduce this liberty. And then play here directly. So in the future, if black wants to resist, it's going to be something like this. Wow. Having that co on the table has got to be kind of nice. Well, I saw Afugu is a self play game. So it's, it's fighting a co like a crazy. Afugu definitely better. is super good at fighting a co. Every game is so crazy. Co well, games. problem is neither of these players are Afugu. No, we have definitely have very misunderstanding of Afugu is not good at a co. Afugu is very good at a co. That's that's for sure. Okay, so this is the this is the the move we just saw earlier before we switch back switch to the other game. Um, so Ryan played here, and I, I guess that's that's what happened. And it's, you know you must do something. Well, so she, if Black Tanuki there, there's this problem, right? So we can see if if Black if Black comes here, why can't Tari here? If Black takes, why can connect? Then, then black is cut off. Right, that would be a huge problem there in the upper left. Unless black can find a living sequence. Oh, he's so calm. Is this does this have to do with life and death? Ryan is uh, a Sumego master. You know, he he is constantly doing them. Mm -hmm. That's why I said he didn't Atari. So now, now why why has to Atari here? This, mm. is the, this is the only move. So after why Atari, why is this move useful? What's this? I mean, Black's a B B four move. What's this? What does this mean? We'll have to ask I, him. I don't I don't understand this move because why can just kill it. The only good thing is black and kill this incentive, but right now it's about life and death. It's not about the incentive. Hmm. So black lives. Maybe he, he just wants that incentive. Before he lives, he, he wants this incentive. Hmm. But this incentive is not, is it really useful? Because, well, anyway, at least black lived here. But I guess after this, white is going to play here. Yes. So black has to live on this. If black lives there, maybe black can have a territory, have balance of the territory. But it, it looks bad. I mean, this feeling, 
the feeling of having to live up, up on the with the top independently. Okay, so I can I can live. So if wife plays here, right? Okay. What's this? <laughs> he can just. Well, he can play here. What yeah. do you like here? I just make my eyes. Make you can't make an eye. You have to make this eye. Ah. So what's uh, oh? I think what Black's move is connect here. Aha. Uh -huh. And why can I connect back? Right. There's a cut. Right. Now he has. Oh. Would you mind showing just a couple more moves of that sequence, just for for the folks? Uh, know? But I'm looking at it. is this or is this alive? Because this is not useful. And he can play here. But it's still not useful. Oops. Let's let them. I mean, I mean this. This is. Hey. Looks like a dead black group for sure. So did they read all these things out? Oops. This is just one variation. Maybe there's other variations. Like what? Why connect? So can black go? Black black can play here first. So if white connects here, black can come here and live. This is a line, right? So this is probably okay. Hmm. Why just play here? Let black live. Taking the territory in the. Um. Turn and black lived. So this is this is end game now. Now we can we can count pretty clearly, and see who is ahead. All right. Well, it looks like we're closing in on the end here. What we see on the left is Jenny's demonstration board. In the upper right, that inset is the game as it currently stands. I think the game is still close. Still actually. a close game. Mm -hmm. So is that within three points? Um, if you want to ask me how many points exactly, then you have to give me more time. I have to, to give count. you more time to count. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, we could switch back to the Zen game. We could. Oh, I guess actually there's a lot more end game here that we can go through. Okay, let's another, go through a little bit. Another ten go. moves here, and we can get a more precise count as that's going. And then we can switch back to see how Zen is handling that end game. So White killed it. Okay, let's let's count one more time. Let's All right. Switch. Now that White has sealed the fate of those three stones in the center, uh, we can do our counts. Um, So uh, also, uh, I should also point out upcoming things on the AGA YouTube channel. Uh, we will have Michael Redmond will uh, be reviewing the AlphaGo self-play games and providing some commentary on those. No word yet on a date on those. We still have yet to schedule filming. Also, if you are uh, without things to do for the first week of August, can we strongly suggest attending the U.S. Go Congress? It's going to be held in San Diego, California. Um, it's a week. It's the largest uh, Go event in the United States of America, on the North American continent. Uh, we already have over 500 people signed up. Um, and it's, uh, so of the events there, you've got, you know, the seven-day U.S. Open. You have the Strong Players Tournaments in the evening, the North American Masters. Uh, there's Pair Go. There's Blitz Go. There's Crazy Go. There's every possible Go variant you want. And uh, in beautiful San Diego, there's going to be a ton of things to do on the day off on Wednesday. Uh, so definitely consider going there. You can check that out at gocongress.org. Um, if you want to subscribe to 
more of these broadcasts, you can uh, so sign up for our e-journal at usgo.org. Uh, also follow us on Facebook or Twitter or whatever you prefer. Um, Jenny, you're looking thoughtful. Do I need to give you more time? I think it's still very close. Still very close. So what do you think about how Ryan's been playing here? Is this is this a good game out of Ryan? Are we looking... It's pretty good. It's a good game. Um, we haven't seen any major mistakes, I guess. But we aren't seeing Chen Yaye maybe giving him any openings? Yeah, I think I, I think White is still ahead by a little bit, but, but not not like it's not like as big as Comey. It's just a little bit. I, I think yeah, let's look, look at two more moves. So so the the, the end game and um, it's it's not finished, right? There, there is White can kill a little bit here, White can kill a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Um it looks like White has more place to gain points, but but that's it. It's not that's not it's not a very um, very big thing. Okay, this is it. This is the game. This one and this one. That's that's where we stop. Black has almost seventy points. Seventy points for black. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is really close. I think it's a really close game. If I didn't count wrong. Well, uh, so that's Brian, Brian did a very good job. That means. Did you see the uh, clip of Ryan on Weibo from round one? Counting up the game with the referee, where he yeah, won he, by one and a half points. But like he didn't expect he could win, and it was a point five game. He, he looked like, he looked very surprised. <laughs> like that. Yeah, can you imagine his surprise if he wins this one? I think he would be even more surprised. I think he would be a little bit more surprised. It's like what happened? <laughs> but still a very close game. No question, American pros are knocking on the door. What do you think? Should we head back to Zen's game? Oh, it's really close. Yeah, we, we should look at Zen. Is Zen still playing forcing moves? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's go find out. Um, okay, he played something. Yeah, actually, White jumped into the corner. Jumped into moves. the corner, took that co. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back and see how we got here. Oh, this actually played a lot more forcing moves. A lot more forcing moves. That's probably not a good sign for Zen. Again? Oh, that does not bode well for Zen at all. That doesn't look good, right? Well, usually when we've seen that on KGS, it was meant that Zen has thought it's a little bit behind. And it's trying to find... Uh, if the bulk of its playouts are going into the moves where it's behind... Then it sees a couple moves where it's only given it a couple playouts, and maybe if they've turned out all right, it will pursue those, even though it hasn't explored them as thoroughly as ex as it ex as it's explored all of the tree uh, where it is behind. Um, it does look like it has started the co in the upper right hand Probably. corner, though. So it's very strange well, if it has lost all of those co threats in the upper left. Wow. <laughs> It, it, it seems behind. It seems behind? What? If Dan get out, Dan is out at this round, we won't get to see it again. So this is a sequence that you can get a code locally. Right. And if white wins this code, white actually wins the code incentive because there's a cut. You can see if white wins the code, there's a cut. Right, here. black so will have to make sure that he doesn't die entirely. Right, so basically, Black cannot fight this code if Black doesn't have threat. Actually, Dan played all these forcing moves and finished all the forcing moves. He played all his threats. Ah. 
so it seems like black white just needs one thread this one enough like q3 is that thread okay it takes a code back now it's current oh this is still one atari left that's the one left <laughs> and they didn't play all the, all the ataris before oh this. no it played all the other ones to no purpose and but white has more thread like this 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 one if black takes back white can play this as a threat mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is a game yep. ah well this looks kind of tough for zen then so perhaps the rumors of uh zen's tromp through this tournament unopposed have been a little exaggerated Mm -hmm. It'd be very interesting to hear a talk with uh, Hideki Kato, the Zen's programmer, about maybe what has happened this game. How Zen was evaluating this position. Yeah, I think if White wins the co, White is ahead. If White the loses chicken? the co. Right. Actually, I you see then this game. Uh, this game is not like then is just not like the first game. And the other game, Ryan is not losing. <laughs> it's a close game. Oh man! So yeah, we we we're happy to see this result. They're both very close games for sure. That's great. And then, now now White can play the concert. White played which one? Yep, played A just as you expected. Yeah, that's, this is obvious. This is a threat, and Black answer then white takes a code i don't see another threat oh this is atari here this is this is atari atari and this is atari oh yeah here. that one will do this are, is a threat are there any other threats in that area for for black i don't um, see any maybe the hane at t13 yeah this code seems to decide the game but it feels like then then cannot lose this call. Black cannot lose this call. Why? How much white needs to get back from this call? <sighs> this is tough. This is a game. White runs. Black answers. So we can expect to see white retaking the call. So white has white can still run on the bottom. White has white has this one thread. At yeah. least Atari. Atari is a threat or not? Is it big big enough? Uh, let's say if Atari is a threat, then White has two more threats on the bottom, lower right. A black threat. Black has this Atari. This is Atari is a threat. Right. So black just has one threat. White's got two. Is this a honey a threat? Uh, um, what about and then take B sixteen? Is B sixteen a threat? B16. Or I guess actually uh, the connection is the right way to play it first at F15. B B16 is not big enough. Wait, B16 is not threat. Oh no, it totally isn't it's because all the stones are off the board because because Zen That's played. Not, you, can, you, sh you cannot look at that area. It's right. Every, he played all those forcing. Because this, this whole thing would die. The corner would die. So, what, so yeah, this is why can has. This is a threat. Black has. <laughs> Oh, white has to answer. Or if black, white thinks just give up the three stones and take the code. If he, his judgment, if he counted, it's enough. He can take the code and give up three stones, but he's still connected back. Well, he so, knows he's got some more co threats in his pocket. Yeah, yeah, because he still has threats. He thinks he has enough. And this this one, I'm not sure that this should be a threat. This Atari should be a threat. That would do a lot of damage to that center territory for sure. Yeah. So if white has enough threat, then white can win. My feeling is if I didn't count wrong. So my thought on B15 or B16, B16, excuse me, was that if those stones at D18, D19, and C19 were still on the board, black would be threatening to connect the whole thing because of a shortage of liberties. But There's he's no played those all out. They're gone. There is no shortage of liberties. 
there's nothing there now. It's already all the faulty moves are finished. Oh <laughs> no! But the problem, the main problem is that if white takes at A and then takes at B, then cut at C, then the whole corner dies. So black not for loose. Black must find the threat big enough, like Black's the local threat, threat on the lower right, uh, on the right side. So right now I'm wondering if this one is a threat or not. Is this this A? Because if black if white takes black can target here, then the, the group is not alive. It's a capturing race. But but if white connects, black can connect back. So this should be a threat. Hmm. That still seems to leave white with more threats in the middle. But if if, if this Atari is a threat, it seems like black still doesn't have enough. You pointed oh, out so... um, J7 as a threat. Yeah, this cut. Mm -hmm. What about uh, L14 pushing in from the top? L14. This one, I'm not sure if it's big enough or not. Probably not enough. So so oh. after this, black still has one more threat here. One more. Oh, wait, black can wedge. Sorry? Uh, black can use the thread. Um, black can play this this move. I'm not seeing you very. Oh, there it is. That one. Black can this. So if black Atari, there's only one thread. But black can black black can play this move. Then black can have one more thread. Hey, eh? who wins? <laughs> White played this Atari. The bottom. At 01. I'm yeah. sure we'll get there soon. By the way, I'd also like to do a, a huge thank you to our game recorder, who is also the AGA broadcast coordinator, uh, Michael Lanek, uh, also known as Batted Baduk. Uh, he has been doing an incredible job recording two games simultaneously, uh, both of whom have been very exciting and have... Uh, uh, they've, they've been very complicated, and we've really appreciated his being able to... Uh, Oh, 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 Zen gave up the co in the upper right hand corner. Now what will happen? Is that enough? It seems like white probably we can certainly start counting. Black has a hundred points. 100 points. Eh? How come? White is not winning. It's 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 very close. Let me can we can we spend some time counting? Yes. Like, just think we're taking a break. Let's spend some time counting. Tell you what, what we'll actually do is we'll go to a break and we will come back briefly uh, with the conclusion of this game here with a more precise count. We'll be back in five minutes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon.
Hello, folks. We're coming right back at you. We got... It's all over but the crying and the yelling. Well, that's not true. Some of these games have a lot of play left in them, but uh, there's a lot of crying going on right here. I'm Andrew Jackson. I'm joined by Jenny Shen, uh, Two Don Pro from the China Chion. Jenny, what did you just tell me here while we had the cameras off? Uh, the baby was crying. That was really distracting. Sorry. But I think Ryan really has a chance to win. <laughs> Ryan has got a chance to win over world champion Chen Yaoye. Let's go back to the game. Uh, we, 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 we saw the end game right. earlier. Actually, right. it was, I think it's, the Tanyaya might play very slack on the, after the invasion in the center. I think earlier why it was okay. But on the bottom, like you see that black got lots of points on the bottom and also lived on the left. And white got a very small corner. White, the whole time white didn't gain any points except the center, white spent, spent a move killed it like 15 points in the center. Right, Black's Black catching up a lot. lot. Bottom. My, he might be too, uh, his confidence was higher than he was back. Wow. <laughs> That's possible. So this is a game, where were we be earlier? Uh, this is a game. Um, so. Right. This, I think, was where we left off with that jump yeah, at the corner. Yeah, where we were. Because I, I see that, so w this is where we were earlier. Mm -hmm. and here. And after that, black comes here, and then um, white pushed, and then this this sequence. This is where we we switch to Zen's game. And after that, white white killed this one, and then this exchange, and then this black killed this one. Mm -hmm. So so here, um, this is a very big move. So yep. this this sequence is a normal uh, end game move, and then white killed this one. This is big, and then then this one. So white white started to fight this code now. Right. White is winning. White definitely doesn't need to fight this code. This is why he's losing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unless he thinks he definitely has enough code threats to win this code. Um. So I see that. I see that in this area. Um. This cut is a good move. If black doesn't want to let white get this incentive, for example, black plays here. Hmm. Now there's a lot of co-threats. It's a cut. Uh, um, what's this? Black looks... What's this? Right now, black is OK, right? But those endgame moves on the top, J17 is sente, right? Well, this but this is not so bad. Is there any better sequence where I can win? I don't see it. So, yeah, but actually, Black played this move. Does this mean he's counting as he's winning? <laughs> I, I, I do think Black is, a, is. I don't trust my counting. But if I trust my counting, I think Black is ahead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What? Uh, and then this is the this is the game. And after that, black played this move. Black didn't continue to fight the code. So otherwise, white will get this incentive as a code threat, and which is a few points incentive. So black just took this one, which is also big in the game. Right. And let's see, white didn't take the code, right? White continues to take the play end game moves. Right. If white has to leave that co, yes. Does that mean what I think that means? I really think black is ahead. What's happening? What's happening? So this is a call. This is a free call threat. And this is current. So let's say um, if white wins this call, black connects a lower right. Who is ahead? Well, we have to, we have to continue a discount forever. Right. So right. black took this one. At the bottom, this connect is also very big. The, the T3, the lower right, this connect. This, this is the only thing big other than the call, I think. And black still has has three has the, this move to kill one stone to gain three points here. So, so T3 and that point marked A. And the call is still there. Wow. Man. This level of counting, a little bit late for one o'clock in the morning. I apologize for having a crying baby uh, on distracting you from such a clutch, clutch uh, time to be counting. So 
61. What? Only 61? Ah, this is ridiculous. I feel like two games, I don't trust my county. Would you like to switch <laughs> to the Zen game? I was like, what? And it, it seems like the other game, and Zen is going to lose. <laughs> and this game, it seems like Ryan's going to win. So apparently, uh, Kato Hideki says that uh, that the um, that he is still confident in Zen on the other game. Fifty five percent confidence. Well, he actually, I saw an interview. He said today um, that he they are actually develop, developing a new algorithms, and they were not to like replicate the AlphaGo the mm. AlphaGo technology. They want to have their own tech. They want to do their own thing, right? Right. They have they. Because they think it's meaningless to to have a repli replica to just, <laughs> replica to just copycat the nature paper, right? Yeah, because because he said fine art used only one year to get to the level even stronger than that. Mm. So he wants to yeah. So actually, let's see. If, does white even have enough threats to win this code? Black pushes. White has to connect. Then black takes the code back. Hmm. What? I guess that threatens to make the code bigger by point. Okay, the right side with without counting the the, the code, I think black has forty two points. Mm -hmm. Forty four. Forty six. Black has Black has 71. So so let's say these two these two Miai for black. This one and this one Miai for black. Mm -hmm. And B is bigger actually because there's more RG there. For white. B is better than A for black. I mean black mm -hmm. should if black makes a choice, black should kill B instead of A. Oh, for, for those of us who are trying to capture count along at home and having some trouble, Chen Yeye has uh, nine captures. Ryan has seven. Um, that's not visible on the screen to these folks. So, And if you're curious, you guys missed out on hearing the crying baby because we have the noise gate set below the threshold and the baby monitors are there. We've removed it so it's no longer distracting anyone except possibly me. Subconscious. Uh, this is the Chinese Chinese rules. This, this M. Lily Cup is a Chinese tournament. Meng Lily. Uh, M. Lily was also, I believe, the sponsor of the Li Sedol Guli 10 game set. Um, what else do we have? Oh yes, time controls were two hours each with uh, five periods of one minute Yoyomi. I'm not sure if we missed a lunch break in there already. I don't believe we did. Um, and that's very nice of you to say I'm looking younger than ever. Uh, that would be the beard. Um, and I'm running out of things to riff on. It looks like they're still fighting that co-op in the upper left-hand corner. And Jenny Shen, Tudan Pro from the Chinese Go Association, looking very thoughtful. Well, I'm counting. <laughs> and I'm certainly well, I not. Think, <laughs> I think that if Black connects the lower right, white finishes a code, and then Black kills the, the one of the... Black kills this one. Black kills this one. White connects this one. Right. And then Black this sente move. How come I feel black wings? Yeah, I, I still don't trust my kind. This would be an incredible result. Um, so I guess we yeah. will have to wait and see. That would be crazy, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, the Zen game, by the way, is finished. I'm getting word that the Zen game is finished. We don't yet have an official score on any of the servers, but 
the board position is finished. So we're going to switch over there real quick. I, I assume you're all right with that, Jenny. Well, who won the game? Uh, it's not clear. We do not yet have an official score, and I haven't counted because that has been hidden by other windows. But you can see the board position as it is right there, and we can presumably count I that. I saw there. the result from from I saw the result from uh, uh, Ecus broadcast. It says White won by 0. 0.5. White wins by half a point. Zen is knocked out of the tournament. Jenny, you look shocked. What? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was like, I don't trust my county. I thought then it's going to lose, and I don't trust me. Well, my county. So, right. <laughs> does that mean that Ryan is also going to win? Because it seems like you should trust your county. Zen was behind I as you. Trust my county? Say that again. I I should trust my county. You said. Yeah, you should trust your county. And if Zen. One five point five half a point. Wow, this is amazing. So if Zen loses by half a point, which was close to what you counted, what does that tell us about well, the I Ryan Lee game? Close, but I saw White is a little bit ahead. That's pretty close. So I should trust my county. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have the official result yet? I think this is this should be correct. They, they already said that Zen won by uh, uh, Wang Haoyang won by point five. I do not yet see. Uh, an official result, but we will stay tuned. Our uh, our fearless game recorder, fearless and intrepid game recorder, uh, Michael. Okay, let's let's look at then uh, Ryan's. Back game. to Ryan's you... game. Let's go back over there. That's the finish finish board position. We can see that. Mm. Uh, Jenny, since you don't seem to be using the demo board, I might switch. Well, no, I'll just leave it up there. Where where are we looking at right now? We are looking at the board position as we see it yeah. on your demo, uh, which seems think... to be. Move 233, the connection at T5. Seven points on the board. Why wings by half a point? White wins by half a point on this board. Ryan versus Chen Yaoye. No, no, this one. Oh, you're looking at the Chen Yaoye game. I saw Zen. The Zen game. Zen the game. Zen game. Oh, OK. God. Oh. I was going to say, this is there's a little bit of uncertainty left for me to say that. Yeah, this is what I said, black connects on the lower right, and mm -hmm. then if white finishes the co and then black coast the h5. How come I think black is going to win this one? I don't know. You should trust your counting. Your counting has been very strong so far tonight. And yes, I've double and triple checked. It is Ryan with the black stones, and it is Chen Yaoye, Nine Don Pro, international world champ with the white stones, this would be an incredible upset. Um, yeah, I think if, if white finishes a co now, black has like a, 10 points on the board. <sighs> and it's even black's turn. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, what would that mean? What would that mean if Ryan won here? That would be a huge shock. A huge shock. And we were so proud of our eight-year pros. So proud. Yeah. I'm prouder than that. Uh... That would be incredible. I would say that Ryan would have to get married more often. I think that's... <laughs> I think mean, it's working that. really well. You can't do that. <laughs> You think it was Stephanie would do if you said that? <laughs> what? Well, I mean, he can get yeah, married but... to Stephanie over and over again. That sounds fine. I mean, oh, okay. you can't okay. change that See? part. Maybe that was the part that works. Okay, so he connected here because because this this is one. I think Tanya must get this one and the other one and also fight win the cup. So my my county is that if black if white right now if white takes the cup. Black kills this one. White connects this one. It's still Black's turn. Black gets this move. And I Black, black is going to win. So he still has to, he has to take this one. In the game, he has to take this one. Mm, as a co-threat. Oh, this is not the real game. Where is the SGF? Where is the real game? No, I think you had it there. I think you had it with uh, H, the H5. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Down here. one. Down one in this the tree. This is the real game, right? Black push, pushed here. Why did Black push? No, 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 no. I don't think he did. Here, let me, let me, let me grab control. 
this is the real game right here. So, no. Chen Yayoi yeah. took. Brian takes the co. Oh, that move is wrong. Chen it's Han. Okay. Oh, this is my variation. Okay, this is the real game. I think this is the real game right here. Here's control, return to you. Let's see what happens. Also, I, I think I can go out on a limb here and I can say that if Ryan wins against Chen Yaye, he will certainly be promoted. Uh, <laughs> promoted to what? 2P, obviously. Like that? <laughs> um, so white Atari then, then black connect, white connects here. So black took the code. I guess it's like this. If black comes here, white is going to connect here, and then this code, then it's they continue to fight this code. So black took this code, but the white can use this as threats. Then that makes things more unclear because black cuts, right? Black white has this extend in the future. Right, J two, J two looks like a lot of threats. But that's that that seems okay because because black has an eye here, so. Just white has more threats because this this stone is code. So white black is okay. Right. So that extension isn't really a lot of squeeze. But this is this game is not that black is not winning by a lot. So you have to you have to be careful yes. not losing points for no reason. He has to fight for everything. That's right. I mean this is this is going to be a, a nail biter as well. So so this this area you can see the thing is that that this area. So, for example, whose turn? Black lady here. So, if black takes, or oh, black cannot take the color. I'm trying to take the color. Um, locally, you can see. Um, lo locally, let's let's say this one. Eh? Let's do a variation. So, white comes here. Black comes here. Right now, if it's like this, if if we look at it like this, mm -hmm. then there's no problem because there's a there's an eye. So eye white, there's no eye, right? But why can take black's I take points from here? Mm. Then black do if black has to play here, then th this is a lot of points you can see, right? Big squeeze. Black loses black black loses at least three points here. If white goes back to win this code, then that's three points difference. Black is not winning that much. Right, right. He, he can't he can't give away those three points and still be ahead for right. sure. Right. So so black played the here. Which one is a real game? Did I do it wrong again? This one, 239. This one is a real game? Uh, the next move on the tree, just above that, in the tree. Oh. OK, this one is just, just which one is you sure? This one is a real game. Right? This one is this real one game. Is, That's real game. This one is a real game. That is my variation. OK, so right now, if black, if white takes the code, black cuts. I think white has to answer. Otherwise, otherwise there's a cut, and white has to live here. Black cuts at A. White has to live at B. And then there's, and then there's Atari here at C. And then there's a Honey at E. Yikes! Cuts. So there's problem here. Right. White, white would collapse. If this is a Sunday. Then black reading is me, right? Ooh. Well, right, Ryan is going to promote to 9P. Go, Ryan. <laughs> Go. No, well, two. We got to <laughs> keep him hungry, right? Can't just go straight to 9P. Goodness gracious, this is exciting. Um, uh, to the folks asking in chat, we don't yet have a uh, method decided for how AJ Pros will be uh, will be promoted, uh, but certainly we can uh, s imagine something similar to the China Chiyuan system, where performance in international tournaments uh, at least merits a uh, a promotion. However, I do believe that we are trying to set up a AGA European um, professional match. Really. Uh, yeah, really. We're still working on the details, but that's definitely the plan. Oh, cool. Um, that's cool. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, we hope if we do that, of course, we will be sure to stream our matches as much as we can. Um, scheduling permitting. Scheduling with Europe being a little bit difficult. Uh, on the plus side, we don't have to worry about latency in these. 
White is indeed going with the Descent and the Hane. Is there a squeeze here? Or is he trying to buy some time? Now, my I'm understanding was that Shen Yeye has a lot of time left on his clock. If black plays K1, the Koshimi... Oh, there's point problem. Can you show us that, Ko? I mean, point, not Ko. Oh, there's something. Wait. Because black cannot afford to lose any points. So. And he can't go back to fighting that Ko, huh? Mm, I'm looking at, um, for example, if black answers here and this one, white is going to play here. No, what do you do? If black if black comes here, why the tarries? Oh, again. Co again doesn't work. This is too much. This co is too much. And the threat, if I ignore K one, is. So this doesn't work for black. Definitely right. doesn't work. And if I ignore K one. So if black comes here. Or if I take K one. Black comes here. What's this? Like an I versus no I. The Hane. White gets the Hane at D1 for free. White, white Hane here, yes. But that's it. That's it? Well, this is still a lot of points. Because he it does, that squeeze is still good, right? He'll have to take those off. Yeah, but then later, Black still needs to add a move. Then this is a lot of points. Right. Oh, this is something. Oops. <laughs> okay. He played my move. He played this because me. So I, I think that if Black blocks, White goes here. Now, then then there's if... no good reason why. Because Black can act play any anything else there's a play, move here mm. and if, if black takes Same th code. there's still this atari you see this problem right and if black plays if black plays here there's this one and then there's this one then it becomes another squeeze wait 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 this is okay this is still just points black and atari here that's that's point of your points. So white gets this move. So white doesn't have to answer the move. White 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 is alive. I mean the corner. Hmm. Is there anything? Yeah, white doesn't have to come back and protect P three. Hmm. So it's better to play here and then here for white. I mean. Hmm. And now because black cannot come here, this 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 is the this is game over. So black comes here. White comes here. That comes here, then this is a lot of points. Oops. So does that mean Black should just answer this connect? That's why I said if Black can get this Atari earlier, if Black can get this Atari, Black oh. can win. <laughs> yeah, if Black had gotten that cut at A. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I think that if Black answers, White, white connects back at B. I mean, earlier. Mm -hmm like this if black answers white, white if white takes this one it seems like this way black can still win by a little bit Oof. so my white might come here and continue to fight this co and then let's is black the confident of his co-threats let's look at the game okay black comes here white comes here then honey yep here. it's followed your sequence exactly Yes. F1. Yeah, this is my sequence. So, so white, white has, white Atari's black takes. Oh, because white has to come back at P3. So black can actually make the other eye at D1, right? I think white is going to, if black takes, white is going to play P1, connect. You see that if, if white black answers, then the cut is go take. Hmm. White lives in the corner already. So that's, then he can take the coat. He, he can finish the coat. But I'm not sure if this way, 
the wings. We have to count again. <laughs> oh man. Oh. While we're counting, we're seeing if uh, Riley, the uh, I think he would he would think it fair to say that he is the underdog in this match against Chen Yaoye, uh, one of the current top players in China today. Um, if he can pull off what looks to be a razor thin margin, uh, with some unsettled positions here at the very end. Yeah, but but did did did, did you confirm with? With Bad Baduk, does he know the, the, the Zen game is really over? Yes, the Zen game is really over. White won by half a point. So oh, Zen one, has one, been one, knocked one. out. Oh, it's, Zen is kicked out then. It's uh, finished. I mean, we'll you seem a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. Don't worry. I'm sure that we will see, we will hear from Zen again. Definitely not. Well, I'm happy. That it, uh, Wang Haoyang won the game, but I also want to see Zen continue playing in this tournament. Yeah, especially if there isn't going to be another one. It's got to be a little bittersweet. Mm. Eh? What's happening? This should be forced. There is no thinking. It should be forced. It is not. Some, something's the recording. Good question. Couldn't tell you. Um, although we are closing in at 1.30, which means that we are pretty close to uh, assured that both players will be in... Well, that's not true. I can't say that. Uh, oh, Ryan is taking the co in the upper left-hand corner instead. How come I don't see the move? I don't see the move either. I just saw it on one of these boards. I'm not sure why. Oh, because we missed something. Because the, uh, the tree... Diverge briefly. Let me grab the control. Ah, white just played p1 instead of the hane. Oh, white played here. That one is wrong. Well, you will have to take it up with uh, Chen Yaoye. Uh, this way, it's unclear again because white actually got some points there. Mm. Then we have to count again. We also, count white again. has some threats. Yeah, now there's a bunch of co-threats down there along the bottom. Now, is just the cut at P3 a good co-threat for black? P3. P3 is... Mm. Black has threats there. I mean, what, why to use this? Yeah, this is a threat. This is his threat. But this, yeah, this is threat. But why, why can connect Oh, I'm not, I don't have control. Why can connect and oh, C1? Let me give you control, sorry. See, why can connect and C1? It's pretty painful for Black. Hmm. Black has to answer, right? And then Black has to make an I. And then White plays E1. Black has to reduce another liberty. So that way but means Black only has 14 points there. Hmm. And previously, you had counted it as... I don't remember. <laughs> okay. The thread. We just showed, right? Yep. Oh, we, we, we can show it again. We just showed that it's cut. We showed that if, if white doesn't answer this move, then there's a tari, and then there's this honey. Right. So black white connects here. Black can connect here, then white dies. Right. Although it does look like white would live on the other side, right? Oh no, still dead on, what? on both sides. See? This is back. dead. Yep. Yep. This, this big thing is dead. Everything is dead. A and then on the white other side dead. also. And if white connects, this will still this will also kill white. Right. So this is a big problem that white cannot ignore that. White right, right, right. Connect. Real game, white white connects here and then black took the co. And then white's white connect is at C one. Right. Like so you let's said. have to. Sixty-two. Wait, this is a lot of points. What? Which is a lot of points? I found it the right side is forty-two. So now the bottom only has six fourteen. That means fifty-six. Upper than sixty. What? Black only has sixty-six now. That reduction really? on the bottom must have been very successful. Yeah, yeah, the 
requirement is a big uh, reduction. So that means when black con white connects, their black should answer. Hmm. That means when black when black connect when white connects at eight. Eight black five, yeah. B. Oh, that's got to be heartbreaking to have that opportunity. You know, so let's say I want to count like if if black kills this one, white takes a cohue who wins. It's an easy for black. That way, probably white wins. So, I mean, still point five game. Hmm. Oh, that reduction on the bottom. Looking like it might be too much. Uh, update on captures. It is uh, 14 to 14. So the captures are totally even as of right now with Black having just taken the co. Ryan has one additional capture, so 15 to 14. Sorry, we'll work on getting those on the display here at some point. Um, thanks for the reminder. Oh, he gets an extra co-threat this way. This is very clever. G2. No, I think Ryan needs to win this co. He has to win this co to win. So you're saying there's a chance. I'm not sure if he... I'm not sure if we can win. He has one more threat on the bottom, and there's a push on top. That's his threat. Is the push on top better than taking the Hane at H19? Uh, the Hane should be better. It's not very different. Um, we, we, we're looking at co-threats. That's not important now. Mm. <laughs> okay. Because he has so to win the code to be ahead. Well, the, the, this this is threat. We cannot count this as threat because if black connects, white connects, then this becomes a threat. So that's even. Is this that a threat is, right here that we're looking at? Yeah. If white ignores black Ataris and, and plays a A2, and then, and then you Atari, oh, yeah. that's a, some points again. That's a few points. So who can win the this this one threat to why has one threat on top? <sighs> I'm still thinking about the Zen game. How did Zen lost the how did Zen lose how did Zen lose the game? Well maybe maybe at the very beginning, the upper left to the exchange. All That's those one. co threats that he played in the upper left. Also, I think the right side, the dense attacking on the right side, the traditional kick might not be the best way to attack. Hmm. And, and the attack was not severe enough. And even though that was still close, it was still a very close game. Right. We, we have to wait for Zen to, to see the, to see Zen's analysis, see, see where is the biggest mistake. Well, I hope that that analysis will be uh, forthcoming. As we're in for this nail biter of a co-thread. We have so, last 66 point six six. 66 points without this one and the code. Uh, is H1 still a co threat for white? H1. H1 is a threat. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, we I'm... just had uh, Gansheng Shi, another AGA pro, says that he thinks black wins because white is. is... Wins? Mm -hmm, because white is out of co threats. Yeah, I'm saying that this co. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It looks like Ryan has a lot of co-threats. Wow. That would be an incredible upset. 
Or, yeah, if black wings is called black wing. So hmm. this game is amazing. I think why why we go and play that cut? Apparently. Why is this is a that? time suji? I don't know what he's doing here. The cut? Oh. Uh, I still see that our stream is up. I haven't seen that interruption to those of you watching. We are surprised by move 015. That cut seems a little surprising. That is going to get you removed. Oop. So, so if 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 black continues there to the corner, no one at the corner. Which he... it's either he or white points is down to five and six. It's down to six from eight. Well, yeah. So, so what, what is O fifteen doing? Is that making co threats? I don't know what they're doing. What? Why, why is Black using? Why? Why did Black cut there and Black play this Atari? Are they? Maybe they're in Bioyomi. It's. It's. Uh, we know that Ryan is definitely in Bioyomi. We do not have a mm -hmm. time on uh, Chen Yeye. About an hour ago, he had about an hour left. So, yikes. See. See. Earlier, if he answered that move and then fight the code, there they, they would be much less threats for white, and then black has a bigger chance to win. Mm. Oh, so, so this is just a Seki, and then, then just, just leave it as a Seki. So if it's black a... Black plays A2, it's a Seki in the corner. Yeah, it's a then Seki. Then white loses eight points there. So what did white get from O15? O15, there is something... I mean, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Wait. So, O15, what's, what's going on here? He ignored, oh. ignored play O15. But there's still liberties up there, right? Oh, why can't a turn here? And if black comes here, why the tar is? And makes another second. And then, then this is a seki. And that kills eight points for black. Well, more than eight points for black. Well, how many points is this? And black also killed eight points on the lower left. I mean, I mean, if black, for example, if black gets to place this sick here, this is a game. I mean, if black plays here, white jumps. But, but black doesn't have to play there. Black can play here, right? Oh, this gets so complicated. So, but if, if black plays here, then what? Then if black takes, this won't work, right? This one. Oh. What? This is still sticky. Still sticky. And it looks like looks like black loses more points this way. Mm -hmm. So this this way, if black pushes and cut, this is sticky. He's going to clamp, I think, I guess. He's going to clamp at N14. Otherwise, it's it's, it's going, to, going to be sick. He would just show. Right, N fourteen is the only thing that makes sense here, right? I think that that is more that the corner eight points. Right, he has to clamp here. Mm. Then we have to count again. We don't know what's because the, there is an eight points. <laughs> right. Well, he hasn't taken them yet. Like he hasn't played a two. Lord left is seven point. The 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 the, the, the sick is seven points. How big is and the code? Oh. oh, this got, gets so complicated. So what if what if what if black kills M thirteen? I think if black kills M thirteen, why finish the code? Black gets the second black still wins. Wow. And that seems like a pretty clean way to do it right if, 
because black didn't lose any points uh, with the sequence on the upper right. The, this sequence, white played, didn't gain any point. Wow, he's still fighting the coat. He's still playing for the second. Oh, no, no. Oh, so he thinks this is bigger than the kill, which probably makes sense. It looks bigger. Okay, so... So if black a... give up the coup, does black win? Wait, let's count again. <laughs> is there... Is, am I missing something up here? Can't black just play N15? N15? N15, N15. M15. Black can just play. Yeah, black can just play N M N N thirteen. Or N thirteen. Which one's better? Which one's better? Because it has to do with uh, it has to do with this honey. If black plays here, mm. then this this C. If black plays B, C is sent it. Right. Then A is uh, is is different. So. Oh, this is so hard. But the Seki was an eight-point swing, right? That's got to be huge. He still played here. He still played there. Mm -hmm. 49 plus, <gasps> plus 14 is 63. Still this co. It's still the co. Still the co. Uh, Ganchang Shu chiming in on the chat is saying that uh, Black made a mistake there by taking the Seki in the bottom. You think Black should take the... Right, says the bottom left was only worth seven points, but that the exchange in yeah. the middle ended up better mm -hmm. for... So he, he should play the, the M13 co, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. Ah, oh, holy wings. Dang. What a nail biter of a finish. And of course, it's not over yet. Uh, there's still possibilities for upsets in either direction. Um, but that does look like it has been a slip. So, so, so let's see the code threads. Why do I have code threads at Q, Q14 Atari, the two stones? Oh, no, 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 that code thread is bad. And oh, wait, it, it is okay to play the code thread. What? Oh, this one is here. Oh, it's the same as if white pushes. So white gains one point, black gains one point. But this way he has no threat. Right. He does this as a threat. This is, this is a world champion endgame. Better than. <laughs> it's like Chen Yaye is like a world champ or something, huh? Yeah, so this one is giving black, white two more threats. Right. And it's points, um, compared with the push, the points is the same. You see the so if black if black white pushes here, we should do it. If white pushes here, black blocks. Black loses one point, but later black pushes here. White also loses one point. So this way in the game, this way white gains white loses one point, but white also gains one point here. But this this gives white two two more threats. Two more threats. Did Black miss an opportunity to play P4 before he made the co? This question comes from Hippophile on YouTube. Thank you. P4. Before making the Seki yeah. in the lower left. He used it as a threat. He should use it. He should use it as a threat. A2 is a threat? P4. P4, P4, is, P4, a P4 is a threat. And it's sent it. Maybe he should connect first. Hmm. What do you how, how do you feel if Ryan loses by point five in this game? Oh. That'll be heartbreaking for sure. 
Ryan is looking for a threat right now. Um, and he... Where's threat there? Oh, he's taken the stone in the middle at J9. So this let's let's continue looking at the game. White takes black takes this one. Well, white is still fighting the code. That means if white takes the the code, still not winning, still not going to win. That seems to be what that means. On the other hand, how is sixty six points? How is black going to be able to win this code? There's still so many threats left. Got another one at S6. Two. Fifty nine. Wow. I thought if black if white wins a call, white can win. If black connects, then white wins a call. Nine. Black has sixty six, seven points on the board. Oh, but not not finished the the end game. It's not finished yet. And then black gets this one. We have to finish the end game. Wow. Black can just connect. Yep. Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine versus seventy sixty-six. Should I trust my counting? What does your counting say? My counting is point five game. Four. Point five. A point five game four. Four white. <gasps> No, you shouldn't trust your counting. You gotta no, don't trust it. <laughs> gotta try again. Nope, nope. Wait. Oh black if can I get this move? Why needs to get all the all the center? Like the O one, even O one needs to be centered. Why get all the center? Then why 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 gets point five? What? Don't trust my counting. I don't trust your counting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and upset. All right. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see where it ends. There was that J17 Sente, as we knew. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. Is black still winning by point five? <gasps> Wait. This is one pound game. <laughs> <laughs> you should ask you should ask William Shu. He he's he's counting all the time. Alright, Ganshang Shu, we know you're out there. This captures currently stand. Ryan Lee has twenty three, Chen Ye Ye has nineteen. This is after the connection at A ten. Ryan oh, has there's net four. A, there's one. And the, so actually, the lower left the corner, Chinese counting. There, white took one stone. There's one one point for white there. And there's one point for black at a one, right? Yeah, but white has a capture stone, so there's one point for white. Mm. White is two, black is one, so there's one point there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 68. A six, 60. <laughs> Gan Sheng says he's not sure how Seki works in Chinese counting. So we'll find out. 
it just, if, if you count as white as has one point, there's capture stone. So it, it, it's white has one point, black has one point. So there's no point there. But if white has a capture stone, then white, white, white has one point. Hmm. That's how to count. And of course, the KGS score estimator with its impeccable Chinese counting has black ahead by 40 points. So. (laughs) (laughs) Gracious. The score guesstimator or the score guesstimator, normally very good with uh, Japanese rule sets, doesn't really do so well with the Chinese rule set. For okay, maybe black still wins by point five. Black still wins by half a point. Wow. Well, let's let's see if that happens. I don't wanna, we don't want to get too excited, but I might go get a bottle of champagne. I'm not sure if I even have a bottle of champagne. I might have to run down the street knocking on doors to find one. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it is definitely 2 o'clock in the morning, which means that my child is going to wake up in three hours. Terrible idea. Oh, man. I feel like I'm counting the whole time tonight. I, well, we do. And I still don't, I, I still don't, tr- don't trust my counting. That's a terrible feeling. Two half-point games. Whose idea was this, anyway? Was it mine? Whose idea of what? Was this to have a stream? Was it mine? Yes. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> goodness, goodness, goodness. Thank you so much for joining us, by the way, Jenny. Huge thanks also to uh, our game recorder. Did a great job. Uh, Hajin Lee also saying that she thinks black is won by half a point. Okay, then I trust my county. <laughs> <laughs> the same. <laughs> That's great. Also, a large thank you to... Uh, my wife, who's been incredibly patient with me and has been dealing with our uh, now blissfully sleeping child. Um, still E11. Oh, yeah, there's still that point at E11. How come the, the game is not, they're not playing? What's happening? We're still seeing. Recorder? We're still seeing. I don't know why they're not playing. The game recorder, the game recorder is still there. He's still there. But, but the game is not moving on. The he game recorder reports that on W. Baduk, that little duck is totally crying right now. You know the little W. Baduk ducks that, like, make their faces depending on how they think it's going? <gasps> oh, no. My cat is black is 67, white is 59. Finish the code. White is white, fin- white, white, white takes the code. Okay. So that's a half a point. Half a point. <sighs> we have to wait. We must wait. <laughs> Ooh, this is still close. This is still close. I want to believe. I want to believe. I uh, hope you all have enjoyed this one. Do be sure to subscribe uh, either here on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook, or we've got our very own newsletter, the AJE Journal at usgo.org. Oof. Oh, and uh, also if you guys want to direct things to us directly, broadcasts at usgo.org is the email to send your questions and or complaints to. Um Jenny, do you want to? Do you have any summary for for where we think maybe this game got so close? Like it seemed like Chen Yue had a fairly comfortable lead as he was taking fifth line territory on the bottom. Ryan um, must have fought I, like a I, demon to get back into it. 
I cannot make it a, a conclusion like a fairly ahead. I just feel I, I would take white at that uh, at that situation earlier, much earlier. Mm -hmm. Since we're waiting, we can go back a little bit. But I don't know what what went wrong. And I think he played slack in the or later in the game, like earlier, much earlier. Where was this? Mm -hmm. Well, I think Black was pretty comfortable make a, make this position there, and Black also invaded on the left side. Everything lived, so so he should probably play more severe than this one. Like like this area, Black. Why well, didn't do anything, right? Right. On the bottom, and even earlier, maybe maybe he he was too like he could have done something even more severe. A little sanguine about his chances there. Yes. So like this area, I'm not sure. Or also earlier, earlier like this kind of things. Th this area. So, but 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 I think after the call, I feel like white is white is. But I cannot say white is clearly ahead. It's just feel like what well, it's it's it feels better for white the situation. But we we look at from from the result from this situation, we see that black got. Um, like at, at the very end is 14 points, but earlier Black has almost 20 points on the bottom. If you look at this board, you feel like it's impossible, right? It sure looked that way. On the bottom and the left side Black also lived. Why didn't kill anything? What on the left side? Why didn't gain anything? Why just kill 10 points in the center? The, the, those five stones in the center. So I think that he probably should have attacked a much more severe. Like uh, you look at this board, Black got 20 points on the on the bottom. And black still in close to the center of this area. Black still got pretty much here. So it feels like probably he was, he thought he was ahead. He played very slack moves. Right. So, like and... this kind of, I think, it, right. So I'm not sure what, what exactly he should do, but my feeling is from the result, it feels like black got everything. Right. I mean, from the result, we can obviously say that something's gone wrong. Like, so, should we go get to the end of the game? It's still here. It's still Let's here. See. It's still here. They're they're mm -hmm. considering if White is going to try Hane at G nineteen. Yes, White has to continue fight the code. But does that even, does that help? I doubt it. It helps. So if White if White plays this one, Black has one point there on the bottom. White needs to play O O one first and get that one, but still, it's still. Oh, White needs to get to O one and then try Honey at G G nineteen and us and win the cup. Then why can't we? Like a tall order. <laughs> He's got one more co threat, right? T six. <sighs> this is this is brutal. Do we want to take a little break here? I mean, because it doesn't seem like there's going to be any surprises. Um, uh, we, we, should we just, it doesn't help. We should. We still need to finish and wait for the result of the game, right? Right. We will absolutely have to wait for the result, but we could take a break if we need to. Uh, I mean, I feel like you've been counting and counting and counting. Um, it seems unlikely that there's going to be a sudden reversal here. Right. Another question on the captures. Sorry, we don't have those up there for you. Uh, the captures stand that uh, with after the connection at H11, Ryan has 25 and Chen has 20. So plus five captures for Ryan on the board position that we see right now. Um, and again, that's with the H11 connection right there in the middle of your board. Um, whew. Oh, it's going all the way. Oh. Really? <laughs> he needs to get everything. He needs to get everything, right? Well, yeah, that's bad. He needs to get. Three cheers to what? Ryan here. This is. This move is here. It's not. It's not the honey. What's the meaning of this move? Is there the honey? Oh. More co threats? No, because white black takes a turn is not a threat. Yeah, because he makes an eye, right? 
So where is white? So white has a thread on the, uh, at T, T6. That's one thread. And then this is a thread, a two threads. Black has one thread. Does black need to win the code? He's got an Atari. Oh, no, that's not Atari. Oh, he's got a thread at G14, G13. But he doesn't, he isn't making threads. He's just playing endgame now, right? If black gains one, one point at, at N, Q1, oh, oh, one. Oh, one, yeah. White means the code. Does black still win? Black 67 becomes 68. Yeah, I think black still wins. So that means black already wins. Wow. Two surprise point five game today. All right. Well, I think we should take a little bit of a break, and we'll come back uh, okay. in just a couple of minutes once we get a f official result. Because Jenny, you've been doing such great work. Huge thank yous. Uh, we'll be back soon with the final result. Maybe the closing thoughts here. Back soon. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. It's a nail biter.
Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we are back. It looks like the co has wrapped up and we are ready to bring you the thrilling conclusion to the second round of the third M. Lily Cup uh, between Ryan Lee, AGA One Pro, and international champion Chen Yao Ye, Nine Don Professional. Uh, I'm joined by Jenny Shen, Two Don Pro from the China Chiyuan. Jenny, thank you so much for being here with us for what has been a marathon night. We commented both this game and the game between Deep Zengo and uh, his opponent, uh, Wang Haoyang. Um, and these have both turned into half-point games, and we've just had you work in shift and a half here to get it all done. Um, with the Ko being captured there in the upper left, Ryan getting the point at 0-1. Ryan finished this game. Ryan finished this game? And this is one last move. If Ryan thinks he wins, he doesn't need to play S19. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be funny that if he plays S19 and, and then White wins the code, the last code, I mean, force black to, to uh, force black to fill all the dame as toe threats. Yes, and then win the code. <laughs> oh dear. That would be awkward. Okay, let's count one more time. We'll count one more time. If it comes down to a co at S19. Everyone can count. Black has six, 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 six capture stones more. Six more capture six stones. Six more capture stones. If Black doesn't play Ko, he wins, says Gan Sheng Shi, AGA One Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you are trying to follow along with the clocks on W, but if those clocks are not correct, they are just whatever the recorder happens to be using, if anything at all. There basically aren't any servers that uh, make broadcast games and keep clocks accurate. It's just the way it is. No good ways for the recorders to keep those trued up either. Um, our game recorder has been doing a fantastic job with both games this evening. Uh, give him a shout out. He's at broadcasts at usgo.org. Um, or send him some love in the chat. Uh, Jenny appears to be counting. Not going to distract her. Um, but if you enjoyed this, you should definitely support us. So check us out at usgo.org. We'll have even more. Double checking, triple checking. It is Ryan's turn. We don't want to see him lose on time. That would be awkward. Uh, but it's also possible that as we get into these last couple moves where they play the Dame out very quickly, um, it's quite possible that the game recorder is just behind and they'll true it all up after the counting. Um, Now, with Chinese counting, it is it should be possible that... Um, how do I have In this case, it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference because there, there, there's it's the same point. Both sides have the same point. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so, oh, wait. If this is sticky, then, then there's one half point. That's good for black. Right. All right. I, I didn't count that one. I didn't count it half a point for black. That that, that one a, a a three. That's a half and a half. Right. Half point. Right. Chinese scanning that one is each side has half a point. I mean I mean half a stone. Right? Half a point. It's just half. <laughs> it's two o'clock. Oh, it's <laughs> late. It's late going on early. But no I think that's problem. Game. 
Okay, well, I guess we're still waiting to see what's coming through on W. Baruch. They, we are at the mercy of the game recorders there, and they are a little bit blasé when it comes to the ending. Uh, again, we do not have a lot of uh, insight into what's actually happening in the playing room. It does seem like most of the coverage is focused on Deep Zango's loss. Um, yeah. As that is sort of another surprise upset. Um, Z Deep Zango has been winning, you know, 80% uh, of its games online. So it's rather surprising that it dropped a game uh, today. Actually, more than 80%. 5 to 1 is a little bit more than that. Um, but this is coming out of left field for a lot of folks. Uh, Ryan, definitely the underdog here. Uh, as, as someone pointed out earlier, more people were betting on um, the human player to beat Zen than were betting on Ryan to beat Chen Yaoye. So that gives you an idea of what sort of an upset it is. There are fortunes lost in Fox coins this evening. Uh, or Thai Gem Dollars, or the W betting currency. You don't know what that is. Um, pretty incredible. Uh, this is this is going to put uh, AGA professionals on the map for sure. Um, Jenny, you look like you're still counting. And I don't want to be counting these chickens before they've hatched, because it ain't over until the ref pronounces the game result. Um, Okay, I'm waiting. I just checked the news. All the news is talking about Zen. Yes. Zen, Zen, Zen. Zen this, Zen that. We're excited here. We're going to be excited for our guy. Um, goodness gracious. Ganshang Shu, going to sleep. Thank you very much for your counts, Ganshang. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, he's, he's tapping out. He can't take no more. He's taking all he can stand, and he can't stand no more. Meanwhile, let me make sure our game recorder is still, still awake. Hey! <laughs> You, I bet he is. He's been a uh, just a a real mensch professionalism here. Yes, he does. He does still know. We don't have any differences there. No new moves. No moves on both on both servers. We're still at three twenty two. So we're still waiting. The board, as you can count it, is the board as we can count it. There's really only so many things that we can do here. Um, and we're waiting to see just what happens. Uh, the game recorder this evening is uh, Bad at Baduk, uh, also known as the AGA Broadcast Coordinator. So be sure to send him some love. Uh, huge thanks to everybody who helps make this possible. Uh, the admins on KGS, big thanks to them, uh, Sweetie, uh, and the new, uh, new managers, Sweetie, Oren, and Lee. Uh, those are all great. Um, Uh, again, I'm just trying to put this in perspective that uh, this is quite an upset. Again, people seem to be focused early takes on uh, Deep Zengo's loss, but my guess is that this this is going to also have some reverberations uh, throughout uh, certainly the American Go scene. Uh, and I'm definitely going to try and get his autograph at Go Congress. So I, I have to have your autograph already, right, Jenny? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Surely. Early. Um, reminds me, I have that AlphaGo. Yes. <laughs> Quite an upset. Yeah, we're still not seeing any moves. We're still stuck at move 322, and we will update you as soon as we know, but I guess... Maybe the referee has been called over. Maybe Chen Yeye has flipped the board, stormed <laughs> out. I have no idea. We have no no insight, so you'll have to stand by. Oh, uh, also the AGA will be oh. will be doing a stream. Bada Bada will be testing the Go Congress setup uh, this year. We will be streaming live from the Go Congress with possibly the best setup. Uh, so far, we've been improving it year after year, and uh, this year, uh, this year, uh, Bada Boduk will be running the broadcast program from the Go Congress. So be sure to see what he's got. He's going to be testing some streams uh, July first and July second. Uh, we'll also see what we can do on the Chunlan Cup, and uh, see what we can do there. Um, do we have any other updates? We have no updates. We have no moves. Gracious. Still no moves. Still working on. 764. How 
Kumar. <laughs> Badat Baduk. Exactly. The black wings 1.5 instead of 0.5. Because of the half point in the Seki? Oh, maybe. Oh, that, I didn't count that one. Uh, so we still don't know what's going on. So uh, tell you what, why don't we just put up the uh, the game board, and when something's happened to talk about, we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Sound good? Sound good. A thrilling <laughs> conclusion this time for real. We'll be back soon.
All right, folks. Okay, you can make an announcement. We're back. Well, I think you just did. <laughs> I'm Andrew Jackson. We're back live. There's Jenny. Wait, where is she? There she is. There's Jenny. I'm here. Yep, it I'm is just frozen. Time. We're back. <laughs> it's 2.30 in the morning. We're going to bed. We have just seen a picture put up on Foxco with the announcement. Ryan Lee wins. He's through to the third round. And that means we're going to have to figure out how we're going to stream the third round, right? And I just saw Sina Weibo says Ryan Lee won. Sina so Weibo. We, we got Fox go. We are confirming it. Ryan Lee wins. He has beaten a world champion. And I am totally getting his autograph sometime <laughs> after I go to bed. Jenny, thank you so much for doing this with us. Thank you, even though we made you count two half-point games about a million times each. And I know you're heartbroken that the AI has been knocked out. Yeah, this is my first first time streamed the World Cup, and Ryan won, so I'm the, I'm the lucky person. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> That's a great way to think about it. I feel like we've all very lucky to have watched this because we definitely witnessed some history. Um, fantastic news. Uh, really excited to see what happens. Now, this was a very unexpected result. He's going to have another uphill yes. match against another top professional in round three. Um, It'll be August. It'll be in August, so it'll be a ways. Uh, poor guy's got to schlep out to, to China again to play another game. I'm sure he'll have a good time. Um, thank you all so much for joining us. Again, remember, if you want to see more of this stuff, be sure to support us somehow in whatever way is most appropriate for you. We've got Facebook. We've got newsletters. You could even become a member. And if you're going to be there in San Diego, August first week of August, uh, we'll be the Go Congress, so we'll see you there. There's going to be all sorts of storied figures in attendance, uh, not least of which me and Jenny. Um, and actually, if it's in August, I wonder if that means Ryan's going to miss the Go Congress now. Um, the next round. I don't know the dates of the next round. Anyway. Okay. We don't know the dates yet. Scheduling Go tournaments harder than you might imagine. Um, just calendar difficulties all the way through. So thank you all for being with us. Jenny, thank you again so much. Huge thanks to our game recorders, admins on KGS who put up with us. And of course, thanks to all of you guys. We wouldn't be here if you all weren't watching. So thanks again for, for attending. And uh, huge congratulations to Ryan Lee. What an accomplishment. Well done, Ryan. And good night. We'll see you later. Good night. <laughs> oh, what a game. <laughs> oh, this is the two games that are, they was going to win quickly. Uh,